Yeah, you know what I always say, bro. What's up, bro? <laughs> you know what I always say. What's up, bro? What would you always say, bro? <laughs> well, we ain't got no intro. Just hit the button, man. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. Let's go in. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the Shoe Dog Podcast, episode 11, 111, I was about to say 11, 111, welcome back with me and the bro, 808 Kicks ATO, uh, like I always do, please do like, follow, subscribe, comment, chat to us, let's have a conversation, let's break it down like we always do, please go and follow Love Kick Customs, and please go follow the bro, 808 Kicks ATO, and please do, do, go, do go and check out our audio platform, which is basically the, all the audio that we do for this, and it goes on all the audio platforms, and we're doing quite well which is great which is it's, 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 it's moving which is good um but yeah thank you for your love and support and always coming back and supporting us but yes this week 100 episode 111 bro what's up what's yeah. up this week what what are we always here to do bro what are we always always here to do you know we came to do the same exact thing we done did 110 <laughs> times before <laughs> trying to come and take over every time yeah Every time, every time, and we're slow. It's slowly working, bro. It's slowly working. We're chipping away. We're like, it's, it's like a, it's like a big mine, and we keep chipping away at it, and it's, it's growing. It's, we're getting, we're getting the minerals. We're getting the minerals, bro. <laughs> yeah, we did it. And tr- truth, truth be told, we've done it way more than a hundred and eleven times at this point. It's just, it's been, it's been in different formats. It's been in smaller doses, but every time. Yeah. Every time something dropped from either one of us or both of us collectively, just know it's about world domination. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love that. You know what? I love I love that whole thing. It always it always take, every time we say that, it always reminds me of Pink in the Brain. It always reminds me of yeah, uh, where, that show. I don't know. It's not it's not in the way that they want to do it. You know what I'm saying? We wanna yeah. we just want to spread this coolness and and the vibes and the and the you know the community uh isms that we yeah. like to celebrate you know what i mean it's all community yeah, yeah. isms over here it's culture yeah. isms it's community isms <laughs> it's friendship isms it's love isms See, stay, see, together. Stay, stay together. Stay together isms. Exactly, all, exactly bro. Exactly bro. <laughs> stay together you, you, know, you know what? I, I, I was <laughs> I was bad this week, right? Um, you, 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 and, you and Kiki, you and Kiki got me. Um, uh, shout out to the sis, Kiki. You and Kiki got me, got me see, feeling you, a certain you got, way, bro. You got smoke early. <laughs> You got smoke early, huh? No, what, no, this what, is not what? smoke. This is not. This is not smoke. This is not smoke. Um, ba- basically, I just, I just want to reiterate, um, like, the guys that really rock with us, thank you because basically, you you, ba- you the conversations we have or like bra- grows the show. It does organically grow the show for all the people that actually go have a conversation. But shout out to this is Kiki. Um, she like go and follow Kiki if you're not already. Go like, check out episode 110 if you haven't shown it. You see Kiki Cutie. Yeah, yeah, Kiki, C- QC, Kiki, Kudi. I uh, also shout out to your, to your. Um, by the way, International Women's Month is probably done now. But we're, we're recording this at this moment in time. But it's the last day of International Women's Month. Um, but shout out to all the ladies, shout out to all the female sneakerheads as well, and shout out to your, your missus as well, to your wifey, um, for for giving that whole segment to us. Um, also oh, shout out to Jenny that came on. Yep, and shout out to Kiki that came on. That 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 made the whole month amazing. But um. I, 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 I got, I, you bro, the future got me, future got me messed up, bro. Future got me messed up, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying, future, 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 future got me messed up. Cause uh, I was sitting there one night and I was like, you know what? Forget this humble, forget this humbleness I've always got. Forget this modesty I've always got. I went back and like all the stuff we're seeing right this moment in time is stuff we predicted last year. Like I'm talking early last year to mid last year to late last year. And everything we said has so far come true, right? Um, not, not saying we're always going to be true. We, we, we maneuver for the facts and figures and, and strategies and we kind of see what we, we see pretty much. But. I was like, you know what, this I, I'm I'm done with humbling for an hour, right? So I went back through all the podcast mm-hmm. clips, 
and I posted them. I said, I, t- I told you so. Like, we told you so. The Jordan 3, we told you so. The the Nike situation, we told you so. We knew this was coming. Fans. We told you so. <laughs> and, bro, the, the we Reebok, told you so. Reebok resurgence. We told you so. Um, but also, also on, on top of that, the um, we're getting a white cement, um, no, white metallic five at the end of this year and scott said this means the black metallic five may be coming out and he said it might be coming in leather and i know one person that made that prediction first and he's on his show <laughs> bro <laughs> we imagine maybe black metallic five maybe <laughs> I'm just that's all I'm saying. So um thank you guys for rocking with us and you're making us awesome. But the thing is we have these conversations like me. I'm not it's not even credit to me and Q. We have these conversations with a lot of the bros and the ideas and the strategies and reading between the lines and all that stuff comes from us analyzing and having those discussions. If we didn't have those discussions then we wouldn't be actually well, we would be, but we wouldn't be as in tune as we are at this moment in time. So thank you guys for always rocking with us as well. Like, that's why that's why I just really want to say today but my home my for, for an hour on my instagram i just went ham and then i i literally left a comment to uh last three years ago a a certain person which we ain't gonna mention because obviously he's done some shady stuff came on the live on instagram and said after the after the amman year free released or a, a year after the amman year free release he said frees are dead and i was like what and um guys we had he he left the show because he couldn't uh, keep up with the conversation for some reason he 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 got really offended i i just wanted to have the conversation why he thought freeze were dead and he couldn't back it up but like freeze are alive bro freeze are banging bro freeze are come like all i'm saying is just enjoy what you're getting until until it's gone (laughs) that's all i'm saying bro you know what uh see this 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 is the thing What would it, oh, no, 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 bro, bro, before, before you say, remember, when, what, remember what Kendrick said on Future's album? There's too many goofies out here. That's all I'm going to say. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's hot takes, bro. It's hot takes. And people, I don't know if some of these people even believe some of the things that they say on the real. No. I, I, I honestly feel like, um, People chase that that shock jock title. You know what I mean? Like that's a thing for people. People people yeah. who are um, people who are already opinionated when they catch on or not. Maybe they catching yeah. on. Maybe they being themselves. But that's what that is to me. Like everybody can't do that the right way. Everybody can't be Howard Stern. Everybody can't be Joe Budden. Everybody, you know what I mean. Everybody can't be Charlemagne. Yeah. Like, it, it, you, it, it's got to make sense. You know what I'm saying? You just jumping out and the yeah, window, yeah. saying, saying crazy, like, come on, bro. No, I, I did, that, that, you're, you're spot on, bro. With, with what you just said, you're spot on. It, I, I, if you have a, if you get, if you have a hot take, like I, I, I admit, I had a hot take when I said that Adidas was um, going to fall apart and Reebok might take them over in thirty years. We time. all, have, hot, we take, all but, have hot takes, bro. But like yeah, some, some, some but, things are just so tasteless, and the, the yeah. take itself is is uh, just transparent. You know what I mean? Like, bro, no. what, what, do you, what you, what you mean? I see, I can see the other side of that take already. So. Is, yeah. It don't make sense. You know what I mean? Yeah, but but the, but the thing is, when when the, the, the thing with me with hot takes, and the, I think the thing with you with hot takes is, we sh- provide the evidence to to back that. We we see what's going to happen and the evidence behind that. All right, cool. Like take take it's, the it's hot take from evidence, me. But, bro. It's con- it's, yeah. I think it's more context than evidence. Yeah, exactly. Context, not con- the evidence. More con- more context of of what's ha- what's happening, what's currently happening. Right. What's, this is happening. The moves that are happening. The moves that are happening as well, bro. bro like I was having a conversation conversation we won the bros this week and um what one of them was like he kind of saw my hot to what i said and he said yeah i kind of believe that what's ha- what's happening might actually come true and i said bro look at look at look at the Adidas stuff like they can't get the collaborators correct in order they can't they can't sell the yeezy brands anymore like the yeezy brands they, they lost kanye west they, they're losing profit freira god's not doing as well as it's supposed to like there's loads of factors adding up to that pile See? and the more it go- 
You said something, bro. You said the Yeezy brand is dead. Yeah. You said that now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you yeah. didn't say is before. No, you no, said, no, no, no. You said what what it looks like, and you said what you think might happen. There's a difference between saying something is. See, when yeah. a clown says threes are dead, that's that's that means right now. Is yep, is yep. a present. It's a present thing. You know what I'm saying? We're not talking about will be or used to be. We're talking about is. Yeah. These things are dead. Jordan uh, you, threes you are you, dead. That's a no, no. They're not because but, that, when they drop, people buy them and people wear them at a high rate. The collabs, which we're gonna talk about some more. The collabs. The collabs yeah. bring too much smoke. Ain't no three collab that came out that didn't do well. Period. No. no. Uh, ironically, so, the, ironically, it was like to me when when that when that person came on, it was like a really bad tasteful hot take because that's off the back of the Amman Year Three coming out, and that no. was off the back of. Yeah, yeah. That 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 was the back of the Amman Year Three coming out. Also, that was the back of. Him basically not having that amount of free or him missing out on a free or some, he felt some sort of way to portray that and he thought he was doing something by portraying that. But in reality, deep down, and I know this deep down, he really wanted that free. He deep down, so he really wants that free. So and this what, is see, why he's portraying that hate out there. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the problem, bro. It's less, about the, it's less about the person than it is the reason. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's about the yeah, reason. Yeah. So when... That's why we had a conversation off air about relationships. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And you were um, making a comparison between me and one of the other bros. How we how we uh, we cut ties so quickly? Yeah. Is for me, I can't speak for bro. I, I, don't, I mean, I don't want to say his name just in the context of this conversation because I don't want to put his business out there in this way. How, how, but what I'm saying, that's why I cut ties with uh, the, the person that we were talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it was the, the principle of, of the situation. It wasn't about a you versus him thing. It was, I saw something in him versus what I saw in you that made me say, nah, that don't, that ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, So it, it, it wasn't about, it wasn't about this dude that was talking crazy about you. We all saw that, you know what I'm saying? And we all, we all made our decisions accordingly. And, and that's, that's a personal thing, you know what I'm saying? But me and the bro that tends to always side with you, yeah, we probably do have that in common. Like, no, nah, bro, it's the principle, dog. Look at, look at yeah, this. Yeah. This is clown behavior. I can't stand oh, for that. Oh yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, don't yeah. move like that. This is the same thing I was. I was telling mm. my cousin this. Shout out my cousin Stephanie. Uh, I was telling her the other day, yesterday. You don't have to move like a clown when you see clowns moving funny. You know what I'm saying? No. No, it, you just that, become part of the circus. It be, yeah, it becomes yeah, about yeah. you then. You know what I'm saying? You have to, you have to focus on how you look in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, 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 you become part of the circus. It's not, it's not worth it. Don't, don't take yourself down to that level. Be, be like, don't be the court jester. Be the king of the situation. Do be better. Like, like, what if you, if you come into that situation at the end of the day, what you could do is just. Not don't acknowledge him, block him, and move away. That's all you yeah, gotta bro. do. You gotta. It's a. It's your peace of mind. You just don't yeah. lose your peace of mind for for anything else. Shout at the end of the day, man, shout out to all the man. You, you got soul. E. Yeah. Cam love for kicks. Got Mr. Simpson. Yeah. Uh, Bond. Bond Saber, Mr. Miller. Yeah. Big Doug. You know what I'm saying like. The, the like the people the people whose whose phone numbers I had the people who I I I'm in I'm, I'm we in lockstep bro like it's it's not it's not finna be no 
no backsliding, bro. It's not finna be no. It's gonna be a conversation. You know what I'm saying? It ain't yeah. finna be no cap. It ain't finna. We can disagree all day long. I go on oh, Mr. Whoa. Miller show. I go on Mr. Miller show and piss him off. Every time, <laughs> damn near every time I go on there, I say something to piss him off. Yo, bro. I'm going to say something to make say- him laugh, and I'm going to say something that he probably going to disagree with. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it would be the same thing when he come on our show. Yeah, same, same, same thing, same thing. Like we, we, like you guys probably see us bouncing off each other all the time on the podcast, and even more recently. Well, we've we've have we've had our periods where we've had to work through and maneuver not situations, but how we how we function on the podcast. Like yeah. you, like the, I wasn't you, like a lot of people when we first started the podcast. You was very laid back, and you still very laid back to a, to a point. But now I was really in there. I was always like we had to kind of learn our own dynamics to work together, and it works really well. To honest. It does, it does work really well but we had our teething problems when we were doing it we, even though we yeah. used to talk constantly on the phone for three hours or so when it comes to like podding it's totally different you have to kind of maneuver and be a, in a different way to kind of make sure it works for you as a as, as a as a like a pro as a program it, and it is a yeah. program it's like a live and a program but it, it's crazy but before we move on to uh, the, something else um just want to say shout out to one of the most amazing people i've ever met in my life um that is my my girlfriend um yes, yes. been together for 18 years bro Eight- round of applause hit the button i need to get a sound boy Sick of waiting on you to hit the buttons. I want you to hit. I was telling you hit the applause. Okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eighteen years, bro. Eighteen years. Imagine she's put up with my dumb, crazy, stinky ass for eighteen years. <laughs> Why don't you talk about yourself like that? No, I, I, I know me. <laughs> Trust me, I know me. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, I'm she, I, I'm surprised she's um she's stuck stuck with me for eighteen years to be honest like my craziness I I'm, I can be very crazy and sporadic. Very, I know. Very crazy and sporadic. I'm, la- I'm laughing because I agree with you one hundred percent. I'll be thinking to myself like even when she even when my wife came on the pod and she was she was she was, she was one one thousand percent shout out the future it's, it ain't one hundred percent no more it's a one thousand percent from now. On. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 1,000%. My wife was 1,000% telling stories that I, ne- like, she was she was sharing thoughts that I had never heard before. <laughs> I just blew it out of her. I blew it out of her. <laughs> no, no. She was, she was ready. She needed to. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. That cool, was cool. stuff, that was stuff that she needed. To, and I appreciated that uh, some of her opinions about the whole sneaker thing she yeah, yeah, kept yeah, to yeah, herself. Yeah, that's true. It's true. It's true. But you know what was really funny? The the the, the one thing I bro, do you have you got like a laser tracker now every anytime anybody comes to your room because you, 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 your missus will come into your room and count your sneakers. <laughs> that still gets to me, bro. bro. <laughs> that still gets to me. <laughs> when she, when she said that when she said that <laughs> it may it may it made sense to me. I'm just still laughing at that situation, bro. It still cracks me up. Nah, it made sense. Like, because I'm like, it, it, I got to think about it. I, the first thought came to my mind was it was COVID. I was going to work every day. And she was working from home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, I'm pretty sure she, yeah, yeah, she probably know my collection better than I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You moved that box around. I uh, count. And there was up. Uh, what, what's going on? You must have got another sneaker. Let me just recount. <laughs> but nah, bro. Nah, just... shout out, shout out to y'all, man. Like that's something uh, we we aspire to. You know, me and my wife to get to eighteen. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah. a long time to know somebody, bro. To to be with somebody, deal with somebody on the day to day, like to, for a person to, cause. This the this is the crazy part about your girlfriend or your wife. Nobody knows you more. Mm-hmm. Hundred percent. Nobody. No, nobody knows. Nobody. Like right at this moment in time, she knows me so well. She knows me so well. Like uh, even, she knows even the every you single don't want facial expression, and that's the worst thing. I can't. I can't get away with anything, bro. <laughs> Even, even the stuff you don't want them to know about you, they know it. Bro, they might bro, not even tell you. They ain't even gonna let you know they know it, but they know. 
Yeah, exactly. Like, do, bro, like uh, uh, today, today is like, today's good. Uh, it's, it's Easter Sunday. It's Easter Sunday. Today's Easter Sunday, and um, the th- it happened, bro. It happened. It all. It, it's the first time it's actually happened, but it's happened. When your when your partner says no, it means yes. Let me just say that because she goes to me. I don't want any. She her her mum bought an, her an Easter egg, um, and this is like this pistachio chocolate Easter egg from Weight Rose. It's dope. It was dope, and this was earlier in the month because she wanted it. So she had it. She was like, oh, "I don't need it. I don't want an Easter egg. Just get me some other chocolate." So I I, I was going shopping the other week, um, and I bought her like a chocolate bunny. Do you know lint 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 chocolate bunnies that you get? Yeah. I don't know if you get them in yeah. I bought her that. I bought her, her one and that that today so she she was like all right cool that's fine and it come closer to easter yesterday she goes to me i'm so sad and so what's wrong i haven't got an easter egg to open on easter sunday i said but you don't want an easter egg yeah but it would have been nice if somebody just got me an easter egg you know like i was like shit so uh i had to go out this morning and get an easter egg (laughs) easter sunday (laughs) because when your partner says no just take it as a hint to say yes (laughs) And that that's that's not don't take that to the nth degree. It, 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 take that to the degree of buying no, no, stuff no. and stuff like that. No, no, no. You listen to the man when he's telling the truth. <laughs> no, you, you you've had a situation like that. You've had you a situation got, like that. You ain't got to put no caveats <laughs> on nothing, bro. Please say, <laughs> listen to the man when he's telling the truth. He's he's telling y'all the real. <laughs> The real, yeah. real. If you don't know, listen. Especially if you're younger or you newer in a relationship yes. or you're inexperienced with uh, monogamy. Hey, do do everything. Just try it. If it yeah, don't yeah, work, yeah. okay, then you know you ain't got to do it no more. Don't listen to what they say. Just try. Exactly. It. <laughs> exactly. I, I, ex, except, except, except for like the caveat to put is except for when it's in the bedroom that needs consent. That's only that's only that's only place you need consent. Other than that, if you she wants nice things and she says no, she wants nice things. If you right. wants to go shopping, if, she, if you you got to take her shopping because if she wants to go shopping and she says no, she wants to go shopping. Trust me when I mean that when I say this. Just treat your partner nicely and it will be a fruitful relationship. Yeah. Yeah. That's my that's my advice to you guys. Just that's my advice to you guys. That's it. Yeah, and make, and make sure you buy a cool sneakers too. Yeah, yeah, that too. Up her game. Up uh, up the part. Up your partner's game. Maybe whether you're a female, male, or whatever gender you are, just up your partner's game. That's all I say. Yeah. But yeah, uh, what else have been happening? This enough. Week, bro? Anything else? Enough from the uh, Love Dog podcast. <laughs> <laughs> We just, we just replaced the front of it. It, it didn't work every time. Food dog, love dog, sports dog. You know what? Every, every, time, every time we change the subject, we should change the banner. It should say, shoot, like, rather than shoe dog, it should say something else. <laughs> change the banner time. That's too much work for one time. <laughs> It'd be exactly, random. Exactly. Anyway. Uh, no, nah, man. Um, I do want to say, you know, I, I had a long week. Long couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, my uncle, my big uncle Keith Keith Taylor passed. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, he was he was the one in my family. He was the one. So I just want to say a uh, shout out to my cousins um, Stephanie and Kyrie. Uh, you know, my whole family. It was big. It was tough. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying it was tough. It's still tough. It's gonna still be tough. Yeah. So. Um, with that being said, um, I just want to uh, say to everybody that has gone through and is going through that, because mm-hmm. honestly, this 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 is my worst one. You know, this is my the worst loss I I've experienced in my lifetime. Oh. So, um, this is the toughest time I've ever had to deal with somebody's passing. So. I, I, I have a better understanding now for people that, um, you know, how to have, have those difficulties when people pass. So yeah, I want to, yeah. um, you know, give a, give a strong arm emoji to everybody. Yeah. Out yeah. There keep strong guys. Through loss. Yeah. And, and keep just, uh, you know, keep going, keep going, keep the memory strong, um, yeah. honor your people, you know, 
and uh, yeah, do your best. It's, it's, let me, make make sure make sure the yeah make sure their memories live on for you as well. Don't never forget their memories as well. Make sure they keep living on for you. That's the most important thing, to be honest. Like, um, I, I it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. I've loved. I, I think. Well, I think the worst thing my way was years and years back when I was younger, when I lost my um, my mum's um, dad, which was my grandfather, um, and I didn't hardly get to see him because he used to he he used to live in Africa. We used to go back. We used to go back um, and visit him. Um, I think seen him three or four times in my lifetime, and it was hard because every time we used to go there, it used to be like he used to open up the world to us, like. Uh, go and do stuff and just treat us really well and most of my most of the way I am today is because of my mum but the way my mum is today is because of of him, my grandfather and that's that lives through through me and my mum and that's that's the, then the morals and the the way I act and the way I am in life is because of him and I did I didn't even know that and when when he passed and I was I was all of a sudden as well he passed suddenly and when he passed it was really really like um, emotional to me because I've I don't get to I didn't get to see him as much as I wanted to and it's really hard it is really hard and especially like I was talking about this yesterday like I don't have a big family most of my family is around the world and it's really hard to see them and when something something like that happens it's really hard to first of all it's really hard to clamber onto memories because you have little memories of yeah. them but but also it's really hard to kind of know that they won't be there because you can't have, build those memories which is even harder but like like i said morality is 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 a human frailty um so make sure you live your best life and make sure you live a good life rather than a bad life and yeah. make sure if make sure people that you had know around you 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 all the people that pass live through you and and you kind of honor their memories in a way that's all i gotta say yeah man yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah one thousand bro. bro yeah but but um yeah it's just that's really sad i bro like when you i knew you was going through stuff and i just wanted to support you as much as possible even yeah, though we're not the same man. you always bro, do bro yeah. You, ain't, Family, you ain't gotta bro. say that. You ain't gotta say that. <laughs> you ain't gotta tell me that. I've been knowing you long enough. We didn't yeah. have enough conversations and shared enough things with each other. You know what I'm saying? And, and with, yeah. the, with, the, with, the, with the bros and the sisters, you know, all y'all, you know, that listen to us yeah. and rock with us, you know. It's, it's legit. It's sincere. You know, as crazy or off as we might sound sometimes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> as many as many jokes as we crack and, and as many serious uh, topics as we tend to die sometimes. That's yeah. that's that's just because we all, you know, it's 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 too much real shit going on to always. Yeah. Be so serious. Yeah. You know, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And, and, uh, we yeah, yeah. Enjoy yeah. life, man, which are yeah, life, life's, life's all about having fun. Um, but your life's always about just living, living, living the best you can and excelling. Um, but it's, 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 it's always going to be, it's always going to be progress. Um, and like, yo, bro, I, I'm going to tell you now, right this moment in time, right? I, you know what I told you yesterday and I messaged you yesterday? I did it. Uh, last night, I, I told you I was going to message a certain person with a strategy and I messaged them and I'm going to message all of their group and hopefully they, they read it and hopefully something happens and I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. I'm not going to even, even air some light to it. But if it does happen, bro, <laughs> all I'm saying is you, you're coming with me, bro. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, all I got anyway. to say is... Uh, Future is undefeated and all hail King Kendrick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that too, that too, that too. But um before we before we move on to the quick strikes, right? Um there is some craziness going on in in the sneaker world and uh, then you know what like we mentioned we mentioned certain companies and we mentioned certain things and and like like all the guys that come out and give us some insight onto this and that or have conversations like i said before give us a massive insight but do you, do you not realize bro like that that the end situation that could be We'll talk about this in the main topic as well. That DN, Air Max DN, could be the next big thing that a lot of people will talk about in the next 20 years. That's that, and that's crazy, bro. 
Crazy, crazy. It could be the new Air Max one for all the younger generation, bro. Oh, could, yeah. Air Max TN. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, swiftly moving on. Let's go. Let's go into some quick strikes, bro. Let's go into some quick strikes because, <laughs> hey, you know this already, bro. You know this already because, um, let's talk about J Cole first. You, he's a very independent artist, isn't he, bro? From your perspective. Uh, recently, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because um, he well before he was in Rock, Rock Nation because he we heard, we know the story behind him and um, of how he got signed to Rock Nation about how he like was I outside he pretty building. Pretty Jay Z. Yeah, so I was gonna and, say uh, that. <laughs> forced, forced, forced the CD into his hand and that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Uh, started his career. Exactly, exactly that. So we know the dedication, the guys. It's all sometimes all about dedication. It's all sometimes all about kind of making the right moves. And life's short. You got to take a risk. And in and and in Eminem's word, one shot, one take. That's all I'm gonna say. Sometimes it's take. Sometimes you got to take the risks and the chances. Otherwise, you'll never progress. And th this is why I, I and Q do a lot of things like this. This for us, the podcast is not risking the chance, but it is it is taking. A chance at something that we want to believe in and that we believe in a lot and th and it's always about risking chances but talk, talking about J. Cole going back to that bro J. Cole is got his own sneaker at this moment in time this is called, this is called an Indy 5000 5, I think Indy 500 Indy 5000 let me just get that right Indy 5000 basically 500. he had his Puma hmm? yeah 500 it's 500, Indy 500. So basically, um, he, he did it, the Dreamer and the Dreamer 2 with Puma. And then he's now stepped out of that Puma deal and he's doing an independent sneaker, which we should show some light onto. So this, this is, this is the sneaker itself. If we can get the, there was better pictures of this. This is the sneaker itself, um, which, which basically looks, looks more in, in context. It looks a, a bit like the, the dreamer. If you haven't seen the dreamer, I'm going to show you guys, which is basically, uh, and I do like the dreamer sneaker. The like, dreamer sneaker was dope. The, the yellow variation was dope. The dreamer two was dope. The dreamer one also was a very nice sneaker and it's, ta it's taken the same vibe, but it's not, not, not like he's copied it. It's taken the same vibe of, of that sneaker and he's made his own independent sneaker called it in, in the, uh, five which is which is dope to be honest um and he's, he's done it as an independent artist you said something quite interesting to me or offline he's done it way before who he got, he got it done before kanye did there you go the, and, and kanye did a collab kanye was doing collaborations and uh, j cole um basically left puma and he's do, he's doing the Indy 500, which is basically a low top design, and it's supposed to reminisce, but 90s basketball and tennis sneakers anyway, which is more. It kind of reminds me of like uh, almost like a trainer vibe, like it get, in terms of what he wants to do, it's like a trainer vibe because it's more of a, comp a more of a multi dimensional complex sneaker which goes into different sports, which is great. Um, and basically plays on the Indianapolis 500 as well, which is uh, which is basically what why it's called Indy 500. But it, it's a dope. What you reckon bro i don't appreciate the comparison to the dreamer they don't look like the dreamers at all to me okay they look more like a, a converse or a nike trainer than that dreamer okay a lot a lot of people a lot of people are taking a lot of people actually attribute some of the design work to the, See, to the here dreamers. we go here we go you, you talking about a lot of people i'm, I'm yeah. we talking about our opinions yeah, our opinions. I don't your, think it is. your opinion that it looks like the dreamer. Nah, no, 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 not mine. So why but, would you say that, bro? But I, I, I said, I said it in, in a generic format. There, there you go, there, bro. No, I'm, I'm going to share this. There you no, go, bro. You That's did. what it looks like. That, it, it, that it looks look actually nothing dope. like them dreamers. <laughs> it nothing. actually looks really dope. <laughs> it actually looks really dope. That would you, would like you actually buy that? Like, like the description said, it looked like a '90s trainer, uh, mm -hmm. tennis, basketball trainer sneaker. That that man, them dreamers. Uh, think, the dreamer was a basketball shoe, but it was a modern basketball shoe. It didn't yeah, look yeah. like. Look at the toe box on that, bro. Like, mm. look at the, the the layers on that, bro. That ain't that don't look nothing like that dreamer, bro. Come on, man. I that modern you. that modern fusion, uh, two, three three piece midsole, all that <laughs> on the on the dreamer, bro. Like, no, dog. Like, and this ain't no. I ain't saying there's a slight to the dreamer at all. But yeah. anybody trying to make a comparison between this and that, y'all don't know sneakers, bro. Yeah, just, yeah. You just 
You just want to say something to say something. That ain't, this is don't it, look, these look more like Agassiz than the Dreamer. I know. I was going to say that. I, I, I do. So look, if, if this comes out, I might actually get this. If this these comes look more out, like Sean it. Kemp's or Bo Jackson or, or, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, yeah. these look like, um, these definitely look like the, the Nike Techs, the Agassiz. Okay. These definitely look, look like, um, the Aero Jam, the Grandma Mon Converse. <laughs> They 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 these, definitely, these give definitely give you look that like uh, kamikazes like it's it's design. Oh yeah, yeah, There's a lot yeah. of design cues. If you want to make comparisons to other sneakers, uh, Diamond Turf uh, ninety six Max, like it's a bunch of di- different design cues. I could I could call up Emmett Smith Reebok. These don't look like no art, no no dreamers, bro. That's yeah, why I, I, hate, I, I, I hate you. I hate <laughs> when you when you part on other people's opinions, bro. I, 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 Damn, I, what I, somebody it's, else it's, think. I it's, 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 too, it's to entice this reaction, bro. <laughs> do it on no, purpose. No, no, no. <laughs> no you don't need do, all do, that. Do, you don't need. You don't need to do that to get all that from me. I'm gonna do that. No, but way. but on on a real one, on a real one, it, it it is. It looks very. Um, it looks very tennis vibe. The, like I, I agree with that. I've, Andre Agassi vibes 100. percent It gives a lot. It gives a lot. I'm. I like the design aesthetics to the sneaker a lot. Um. I I want to see the, the more official pictures because all, all, all we've seen is J Cole. Where um, I want to see if it gets a global release. If it doesn't, it probably get a US release as well. But I I want to see how well it does, and um, I've I've I'm digging with it. I'm I'm really digging with it. It's it's just this is where like when Nike, especially when Nike, would come out and say they they want innovation, they want new innovation, and they're concentrating concentrating on innovation rather than just giving out all these silhouettes and all these different colors on different silhouettes. This is this is why this is what we were talking about the other week as well where artists are just doing their own thing and being independent with it this is this is what like someone like j cole back in the day would have had like where travis from where he would have just had travis sneakers like bang 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 right this moment in time a lot of artists are just doing independent things and you're seeing that because the more we're podding over the years the more we're finding out that some some like we've had we had the the what was that? What was that sneaker that was the uh, about the NBA that would where they had their conflict, they had a fight in the NBA. They did a sneaker based on that with two different colors on the sneaker. I can't remember that. Uh, Malice um, and something. Malice in the palace. Yeah, that's the Manus in the Palace. That that was that's another independent artist. We have Mischief, which is another independent no, production no, artist. No, wait, 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 wait. Go on. You saying artists in the 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 term of. Of design, design, fashion, not 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 art, design, fashion artist. artist. Yeah, 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 yeah. F- fashion design artist. artist, not not music this artist. Is the first so, music, music. artists uh, at at this level that yep, I can yep, recall. Yep. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, because Kanye is, you know, when he first had the split with Adidas, that was the rumor that he was gonna do his or try to do his own thing, but he didn't get it off. For whatever reason, I don't want to speculate about why. But um, I, I to, to to be honest, uh, do you regard the pod the pods as a sneaker? No. Okay, so then then J J Cole is officially done. The, it's a shoe. The, the, the most, it's a shoe, yeah. So sneaker wise, J Cole is put it out there before Kanye was. So, but I I think at this the, the, what's really interesting with this whole situation is. It, it, this I like. I think we alluded to this back in like back way back where we said it's like music. It's like releasing an album. Sneakers are like, as like is like an album now. Releasing an album, releasing the content or work, and it feels that way because it feels like there's more coming out from from sneakers and and the quality like the the, the contracts and all that stuff behind that feels like it's a record label, like a music record label, and now it does feel like artists are realizing that they can go independent do independent things and move independent moves it's, and j cole's proven this now with his indie 500 so th- does does that mean somebody like kendrick or or if, if drake left nocta or if travis did his own thing that their notoriety behind that would would sell numbers potentially yes would they want to do it independently potentially no because there's a lot of work behind it but if you've got the time to do it then it, it probably will reap more rewards for you so maybe a lot of artists now coming up through the game will be thinking 
I can design my own sneaker with the, with with um, the letter with my name and and put it out there. Potentially, bro, this is a game changer for a lot of people in the music industry or any anybody that's got financial backing to do it because it's quite uh, quite expensive to make your own sneaker. Mm-hmm. And that's so, the problem. Yeah, that is a problem. That is a problem. And it's so, in, like similarly, it's quite expensive to um quite expensive to produce an album, master it, distribute it. Same, same, same kind of, same kind of vibes, bro. It's, 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 it's another, um, game format. But Killer Bite just won a Grammy. So. Yeah. The, the equivalent is J. Cole dropping this sneaker, which is dope. Like, I, I, yep. I think I want it. Looking at it, the more I look at yep, this yep. and look at this picture, I think I want it. Oh, Yeah. The uh, colors do it well. well. The colors do it way, way, way. Nah, I want to see. I want to see all the colorways too. I want it to work because it looked dope, and I want it. This is this is the. Is it going to be comfortable? That's the question. That's the only thing that's gonna matter. Is it yeah, going to question. be comfortable? Because the, the, it's J Cole, right? Mm-hmm. He probably not. Gonna be charging those three, four, five hundred dollars for this shoe. He gonna yeah. want his fans to be able to have this. You know what I'm saying? Yep. If it's limited, I'm I'm gonna guess that is because that's all they can do right now. Yeah, yeah. But it has to be a good sneaker. I think because of who J Cole is, and yep. this would be a first. Because it ain't like his Puma sneaker was a Yeezy or a Travis or a J Balvin or yeah. or a Bad Bunny or any other uh, music artist, Skepta or anybody else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who who has done uh, sneaker collabs? His his Puma collab was is one of the lower tier artist collab sneakers in artist collab. He down there with Billie Eilish. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like when it comes to hype from music artists doing collaborations, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this. I like this too. I think. I, I, I think with with the rise of uh, brands like Hoka and Merle and uh, Solomon, these have mm-hmm. a chance to become mainstream if there are enough pairs to go around and it's good quality shoe. Yeah, and to, to be honest, that the using the '90s vibe to this, uh, the using the retro vibe to this is really good because, um, for if you ever look at it, the te- the, the Tech Challenge Two is coming back out, the Agassi shoe, which is great because I'm, I'm I'm actually gearing up to look to look to get that. That's a rumor at the moment, so if that comes out, I'm definitely getting that. That that uh, the a lava hot lava, pfft, damn, that's that. I I slept on that, and to be honest, the more. I know, and it's coming, and it's coming. It's supposed to be coming back. I slept on it, bro. I slept on it, which is which is bad on me. But th- this is like my whole evolution and sneakers has grown and grown and grown over the time, where I have more appreciation for stuff like that. So, like that, I'm I'm getting that. That that remind you not not saying that it's it gives that whole retro vibe. This whole J Cole sneaker gives that retro vibe to me, and I'm like, yeah. I'm I'm digging it. I'm digging it to a point where I, I'll probably will end up getting it if I get, if I get my hands on it. It's it's dope to me. It's dope, and it's the right time for him to do this as well because everybody's going back. We've seen the tra- like we've seen air trainer ones come back. We've seen trainers come back. We've seen foam posits come back. Uh, we we've seen a lot of retro, well, not retro, but a lot of nostalgic sneakers come back, and it's. And it's like the prime time for him to do this as well because it gives him an opportunity in that market. And it, to be honest, it gives him an opportunity in the independent market where nobody is actually pushing the, the black barriers to do this. And him to being one of the first pioneers to do this independently is good for him. Very good for him. Yeah, you're talking about as far as artists go, music artists. Yeah, yeah, as far as ice, as far as ice. Like I'm talking music ice. You be you be saying some real vague shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you thank you for clarifying that. We just got through talking about John Geiger last week. <laughs> oh, cool guy and, and, and you know yeah, yeah. I mean? the, but the, we were talking those. I'm talking yeah, the first dude, music. Nothing. No, no, the, first the first musical music of a of a large stature, like because it was Lil Nar. He oh, did yeah, his knockoffs, right? He got his yeah. lawsuit and and folded up. Real quick and, and nice and easy. You're like, yeah, okay, yeah. I don't want no smoke with y'all. We good. I'll stop. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. but, but, like, the, the Puma, it's like, okay, it was, because it, it was a cool sneaker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it, and it did what it did. You know, the, all the colorways was dope. He got a second one. The colorways was dope. Cool. It did what it did. I'm pretty sure his fans, you know, they enjoyed the sneaker. I ain't never heard yeah, yeah. nothing bad about it. I ain't, it ain't never been hyped though. But this right here, this ain't no Puma RH right here, bro. No, 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 no Puma Dreamer right here, bro. This look no, like, no. from what it looks like, this look like a real solid, good, tr- like the toe on that, bro. I'm, I'm really loving that toe box. The, the meat, the differences in the lateral and medial size of the shoe. And they both dope. Like I, I'm sitting here the whole time we've been having this conversation. I'm sitting here trying to decide whether I like the, the, the medial or the lateral better. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Because when you like, look at when you look at the medial side, bro, the the the, the I mean, they look like shark's teeth. I, I hate yeah, yeah. Do, uh, waves or or shark's teeth or whatever they are. Like bro, with the with the three different color blues, and but then you look at the the lateral side with the Man, the traction the, the, on the, it looked look like the trick dog. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna t- I'm gonna tell you the co- the only com- the not com- it's not comparison not similar nothing to do that the only sneaker that does that much to it to a, a, a silhouette itself is that wave runner like when you look at the wave runner it has so many aspects to it that you can kind of analyze and break. And this is yeah this is def- this is definitely more but the 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 sim- no, it's not similar but the wave runner has that kind of aesthetic to it where it brings a lot to the to the sneaker itself and this is this is why this one it has a lot more to it but it's very dynamically different at each way you look at it bro, and and but just to how, clarify how, like, how the rubber is molded bro like that's crazy yeah y'all got to go go find the j cole cole it is 5,000 indy 500 the indy 5000 5, is it in the you first? were scrolling yeah, so sorry, fast sorry. when you first pulled it up. I yeah, I, it. yeah, so yeah, you go and go and take out the J Cole Indy Five Thousand. By the way, everything I meant was depend uh, was directed to music, f- big music artists stepping out into the sneaker game. I'm not talking about music artists like Lil Nas who actually copied or John Geiger who actually copied the silhouette. I'm talking about some a music artist that's reputable, that's famous like J. Cole. Let's J. Cole is top, top tier, who's actually done and went out and designed a sneaker that's that's independently and he's been on different the crazy to run. Yeah, yeah. And he's and, yeah, yeah, and um, let me let me let me just say, like, I'm I'm not I'm not taking shade of I'm not taking shades of John Geiger. He's done what he's done by taking similarities between and Cool Kai similar with the Jordan One, Cool Kai or well, taking that Jordan One silhouette and Cool Kai in it. I'm talking about somebody that's reputable out there that's actually gone out and made a sneaker from scratch and released it as a big artist not not saying anybody else there's a small it works in a small capacity which i know i know a couple of people that are designing their own sneakers and pushing it out i'm talking about real big artists doing it and this is this is why it's a game changer in that whole lane as as me as a music artist doing that but yeah that's that's interesting I, I'm, I'm i'm gonna enjoy seeing that um let's just see what happens with that unless we have, there's no official release date to that at the moment in time so let's see what happens with that yeah i want to see what we got <laughs> Exactly, bro. Okay, next, moving on. Next quick strike, bro. We are looking at, let me take this off the screen. We are looking at the Nina Chanel Jordan 3, bro. Let's have a look at this. Because, like we talked earlier, Jordan 3 is <laughs> never going to die, bro. Never going to die, bro. <laughs> um, if you don't like this, you don't like Jordan 3s. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. <laughs> you know, what? I got the, I got the top for it as well. Look at that! Look at that! I got the top for it. You know what that means, bro? You know what that means, bro? <laughs> green top, green sneakers. <laughs> uh, this just uh top ten candidate right here. I'll, yeah. I'll first, our first look, bro. First look, top ten candidate of the year in my in my list. Y'all can do what y'all want to do with y'all list. Y'all know how we get down. Uh, I I'm I'm gonna yeah. say I'm gonna say can I say just go, go back to the picture quickly, bro. I'm gonna say if you guys go and check out the Nina Chanel Abney Jordan Free. It, it's it's got uh it's got canvas green on it. Canvas green suede. Green suede. Sail midsole outsole. Sail back tail with the altered Nike Air on the back. Orange 
tab hanging off the man. Listen, yeah. sail rope laces, sail eyelets. I, I, fi- I think I think orange guts. tags a sample. I think that's orange tags a little uh, Jordan sample tag, or maybe I don't think that's gonna no, come with a sneaker. I think it come with the shoe. You reckon? Yeah. It looks like oh well. That's we'll see. We'll see. But feature. bro, bro, all all I'm all I'm saying, all I'm saying is, when I saw that sneaker, I just put I just like, yep, that's that's just instant cop. But by the way, that's a women's exclusive. I hope it's extended size run. Uh, it is. Nina, she, yeah, Man's is it extended. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I needed to know, bro. Cause uh, that size ten on in that. Bro, I need that. That sneaker is hard. That's the, this is what we always wanted. June what? June twentieth. It can't come quick enough. This is what. <laughs> this is what I was talking about a uh, long time ago. When they they need to release a Jordan in a different colorway. I like they. I did the lightning. Uh, I did the lightning for Jordan Free. Oh, um, lightning Jordan Free. I mean, I did the UNC Jordan Free like with the whole upper one color. And I was like, that's what they need to do. And they finally did it. N- uh, Nina Chanel finally did it on a Jordan Free where they get like. I know we saw the George Towns. I know we saw the all reds, all white, all blues, like the colors, like well, I said, similar to it to the colors. But this is what. This is what we wanted, bro. This is what we wanted. Hundred percent. This is this is this is just magical to see on a on a, on a Jordan three. But I have to say one thing, bro. I'm surprised you loved that midsole outsole because you said that before. You know why? Why? This to me is. The Jordan Three version of what Union did. Facts, facts, facts. There, that's total facts. I'm looking at this and I'm seeing, and this, this, this is my my abstract vision, right? <laughs> Check me out, now. Go, Check go. me out. If you look at the hard rubber outsole. Versus the foam midsole. The coloring is just different enough. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. For me. I'll take your word. Okay, cool. It's just different enough for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be the exact same color, but to me, they don't look like the exact same color. Either way, I'm rolling with this, bro. The suede... No, non elephant print suede versus the canvas slightly different color greens but mm-hmm. close enough like bro the rope laces I would never think to put rope laces on threes bro they look different rope though. laces is it, it's union it's union to me I hate to compare her uh, to union but that's like the vibe I get like when I look you, at you know what? when I saw this, I immediately for some reason thought about the Union ones. Yeah, yeah. I you know what I didn't think. I looked at a sneaker. I didn't even think about any collaborators that that kind of come to get like every any collaborations that would come together Chris to produce that. Chris probably kicking himself that he didn't think of this. Who? <laughs> Chris from Union. He probably kicking himself that he didn't think of this. You, you you know what you know what's interesting on that the suede paneling to that reminds me of the Amma Meunier suede paneling on on the Amma Meunier, and the canvas reminds me of like when you, if you mention collaborators the can uh, the canvas reminds me of the Union. So like to put that together on a Jordan Free, it's just perfect, bro. Perfect. Union what? Hmm? Union what? Uniform. Uniform. Man, ain't nobody thinking about no union foes, man. <laughs> you like, yeah, I forget. I be forgetting y'all actually like that shit. But bro, just, yeah. You know it's, I it's don't like the... union foes, bro. I never think about union foes. Okay, well, I don't what, think what about union foes until I see them on feet. And I would be like, oh, they, oh, yeah, that's the... Yeah. They don't. They don't. I have to admit that they, they, they are dope. They are dope. What, what were you? What were you comparison? What were you using comparison to? What was that again? The ones. The BBS. Oh. Ones. Okay. Okay. Got you. I got you. Got you. Got you. But yeah. The color, yeah. I mean, the, the colors. You know, or the midsole outsole. That's that was that's immediately where I went with that. I didn't go we, to because the, we, the oh, folds okay. was cool. before the ones, so I went to the ones. 
Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say one thing. I'm gonna say one thing. We're not gonna compare this to any collaboration. That's that. I think I think uh, Chanel no, no, and me. That's just, not what I'm doing. Not I, I'm not trying to. I'm not. I'm just. You know what? You're right. Mm. I'm sorry for comparing this to anything. Mm. This is this is this is fire. Fire. It's fire. <laughs> I'm I'm comparing my feelings. I'm not comparing yeah, yeah. the sneaker. Because we, you know what, Sne- as sneakers, we end up doing that. Yeah, but as sneakers, we end up doing that. We end up comparing different collaborators to different collaborators. Oh, where did this bit come from? Where did this bit come from? But I think we just need to sit there and appreciate that. No, that's cool that. too, though. But yeah, yeah it's nah, cool. This ain't, this ain't, that ain't what we doing. I'm comparing no, no. The, the way I felt. like Because when, <laughs> yeah. when we first saw the union last year, because you showed it to me. Yeah. I hadn't seen it yet. It had the picture had came out maybe the day before or something like that. And he was like, yeah. Bro, the union one. I said, Don't even show me. Just wait. <laughs> and so when you pulled it up, and you know, we was both looking sideways, but you was talking, yeah. you were describing it. And you said, What's your opinion, bro? By the time you asked me what my opinion was, I was already set, like, nah, I need this. Yeah, the U- the union one, it, that that's one sneaker that really, really, really changed my mind on on, on that sneaker. Like I well, I didn't like it when I first saw it. And then the more I looked at it, that was a grower, like literally it grew on me. And when the, when you when I brought it to the pod, it Pause. grew on me more. Pause, yeah. No diddy. But it grew on me more. <laughs> <laughs> It grew on me more. <coughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> and um, and I love that sneaker. And I, and, and as a matter of fact, I told you last week when I saw somebody wearing, I said, "Yo, dope sneaker." And I, and I kind of moved on from that. But yeah, that yeah, I agree with you. There's a lot. There's a lot with this sneaker that comes from a different. Like our feelings on that sneaker comes from different variations as well. I I have I have a lot of other things that I think build that sneaker. But that sneaker's beautiful. The well, way see, it's constructed. What it is, what you're speaking yeah. of is the different design aesthetics that we have on other sneakers that we're yeah. used to and that we like on other sneakers. So now she putting different elements together from other different sneakers that we like. And so yeah, 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 it's 100%. becoming, you know, that's that's where the, 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 the needs to make comparisons come from. It's not to I- uh, say that, you know, this is, this is better than that or no, 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 no. I, I think we live on connections though. I think we live on um, the nah, connections if, of, if you want that, if you want that, and we were just talking about hot takes, how about this for a hot take? This Go better on. than the J Balvin three. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's better than the J Balvin three. And it's, it's up there. Not, not with or against but I'm. I already got this close to the other one my year three. Oh, you you know what you know what. That's how much I'm I like lean- this. Thing. I'm leaning. To, I'm leaning towards what you're saying. Um, I hope. But- I hope ain't nothing else. I won't come out in June. Cause it's 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 gonna it's it's gonna be there. It's gonna be there for somebody else. I got to get. I, this. I'm. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say one, one, one I'm gonna say one thing, you know that um, when you know when the Amman Menu free release fry, we didn't know what it meant. We, a lot, no, we know what it meant. It had meaning behind it. It had the storyline behind it. It had very good attributes behind it. The design was killer. It was the, one of the best sneakers to release. But one, I still regard it to be the one of the best Jordan Freeze outside the OGs to release. Right? Yeah, and um, the three came out better than that. Exactly. Yes. Uh, except, except OGs. Like, are we not OGs? Or no, I've got loads of no three. Ain't no three came out better than that. Since. I, I don't, OG, I'm just, I'm OGs. Just that, that's nostalgia driven. When you take yeah. nostalgia out of it, ain't no three came out better than I'm on my year three. Uh, since okay, cool. But now, but now, but now, peep this. A lot of people on clock list. Peep this. When you have something that great come out, right? Everybody down here, everybody at the lower end that's doing a collaboration on the Jordan 3 is aiming for that top spot. Now they're all competing for that best collaboration. If you're a designer, if you're podcasting, you're a designer or you're an artist or you're a music artist or whatever industry you're in, you aim, you, if you ain't aiming for the top, you're not doing it right. And this is why with, with us, I always say this to people, we're going to compete with the top trust me when if you're not aiming for the top you're not doing it right 
and then now we're seeing this in full effect, bro. We've seen this in a full effect when we see the Balvin 3 comes out. Everybody loved the Balvin 3 for what it was, right? Hands down. Fair enough. Now Nina Chanel Abney comes up with this Jordan 3 and she's aiming for the top and you're already talking about it, bro. You're already talking about it. This is why it's, this is what excellence is all about. You got to bring your best to the game. And if you ain't, you ain't doing it right. Simple you know as. What? And this is, this is why it's dope. You know what? Top five candidate. <laughs> already, bro. Already. Yeah. She is, a, man, look. I already got some, I got, you know, I got my stuff that's going to be on my list that other people may not even consider. Uh, yeah. But I got, you know, the foes are already there. This, this one, this three, Shanina Chanel Abney three is already there, which means, which means, drum roll, threes are alive. Yeah. Threes have always been alive. Threes have that's always been alive. That's the and one. Yeah, that's the one. Freeze her alive, bro. Freeze her alive. But yeah, June 20th, guys, watch out for that because it's going to be absolutely amazing. I think, I hope they do loads of pairs of these for the, for the female sneakers, for the male sneakers, for, for all the guys and, and, and all the, for everybody, for everybody. Make sure. Don't, don't, yeah. Don't be like me with the MMA year three when I slept on it and I had to go back on it because that sneaker's going to, that, that Nina Chanel, Nina Chanel is going to be, Expensive once after it's, it's done. <laughs> that's what I'm yeah, Retail. but that's a classic collaboration. That's a collaboration, bro. That's a that's, it's always gonna yeah. be a collaboration price. All right, let's go. Yeah, right, cool. Yeah, you're right, cool. And enough of us fantasizing about sneakers. Next quick strike. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, Hermes are in trouble this week, <laughs> apparently, because Hermes looks like um, I, I read about this uh, the other day, and uh, and we we talked about we didn't talk about this properly, but this whole situation comes out of them Hermes Hermes Birkins cherry picking people to for to get their sneakers because from what I'm hearing. Hmm? Bags. Bags. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm in the sneaker, but Hermes, Hermes, Birkin Hermes bags are cherry picking people to buy their Birkin bags because they know that the resale price on their Birkin bags is quite expensive. So they're cherry picking loyal customers who buy constantly from their store to actually give these Birkin bags to. So for, from that perspective, they started like a loyalty plan, like almost like an unofficial loyalty plan. So they were monitoring people purchases in the, in the actual store or actual inventory and actually saying, all right, could cool, these people bought this and this and this, or they were also saying, you got to buy this, this and this and this to actually be able to buy that Birkin bag. That's the situation. Now they're getting sued for it. Like, is this, is this, um, is this wrong? Is this right in your opinion? Because this is almost like a loyalty plan. And if they if they had started a loyalty plan, if they have a loyalty plan, then it should work on that because it's kind of, for a lot of people, the reason why they're getting sued is because they are gatekeeping Birkin bags and Hermes. Um, it's tough to, to determine what's really going on here as far as the legal side, to be honest with you. Um, some, I know some states have a right to refuse law, mm -hmm. which um, gives retailers the right to refuse sale for any reason. So I'm pretty sure in some places, so, so just, just, probably, just, to, just to add, it's only in California. Sorry, it's only in California. No, it's uh, in Georgia too. Oh, okay, I'm just reading the California article now. Yeah, so I mean that's but that's speaking on because it's California, it's Hollywood, it's LA. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A lot of the luxury items get so you ain't going to every state walking into a Hermes store. All right, so <laughs> you know so I mean? uh, like, I'm we got them here. They they in Miami. They in New York, they in California, you know, they probably in Houston. Uh, so, so I'm reading, but, just, just 
go on, go on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's just, just to cut you up. This is this is what they this is what they're actually getting sued for. Hermes is violating antitrust law by tying the sale of one item to the purchase of another. Two California residents alleged alleged in a proposed federal class action lawsuit filed on Tuesday in San Francisco. So that that's 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 the actual reason why. Right. What I'm saying is, it's in court. <laughs> so it has yet to be judged. You know what I mean? The the customer complaining about the way they um, makes make certain products exclusive. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a problem for everybody. So is, is, for, for, no 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 hold on hold on go go on, go. On. You can't just walk in a Rolex store and buy a, a day date. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. You can't just walk in the in the Audemars store and buy the most expensive expensive watch they got. No. Mm-mm. You can't just walk in the Nike store and say, I want a pair of Reimagine Chicago ones. No. No. There are differences, sure. But th- this is about to be a problem for a lot of people. You, th- you couldn't just walk in the Dior store and buy them Jordan 1 Dior's. You couldn't just walk in a, in a random Louis store and get Louis Vuitton Air Force Ones. And that that Dior release, by the way, it that was tied back into um, loyal Tiffany. customers. They they they, they yeah. Even t- like d- d- especially that Dior, that it was not. It's a well known fact that those Dior ones were, even though they were raffled off, yeah. the, some of the release was actually dedicated to loyal customers. It yeah. was known. Yeah. So so with what you've said, if those. If those two, like if those, if that court case in Georgia and uh, California is is, if they win that, no, 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 I'm saying, they, they, no, no, there's not, there's, there are laws, certain laws in certain states that yeah. allow retailers to refuse service. That's what okay. I was speaking yeah. on. It's yeah. the same thing with employment. There are certain states where places can refuse employment. It's, it's called it's like right to hire, right to fire. I can hire who I want and I can fire who I want and you can't say shit about it. You know what I'm saying? Like there so, are laws like that in place in certain states. Like what the the grounds that they brought the suit on, obviously is there are laws in place and they're about to debate these laws in a way that may or may have not been debated before. That's what court is. You know what I'm saying? Convincing yeah. these people that no, nah, I'm right versus no, nah, they right. Yeah. The the, the the consumer side of it, it this mm-hmm. is nothing new, bro. Exclusivity in retail is nothing new. We experience I, 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 this every week <laughs> with releases. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. When of when we do. certain 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 retailers have loyalty programs. Do you, it was do, this do one think- site. Um, I can't remember the name of it. This one site. They was like half streetwear, half high fashion. You had to have an account, and the more money you spent with that store, DTLR used to be kind of be like that. The plan. more money like, you spent with the store, the plan. better. Yeah, yeah, the better chance, the better your odds of uh, getting your hands on exclusive stuff. Yeah, 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 I to, to be honest, but like, we ain't, I, if but I, we we ain't about to take no lawsuit to Nike because we can't hit on sneakers because we got a new account. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, that's yeah. what this is. That's the equivalent yeah. of this. This is this is a sneakerhead going to uh, finish line taking us a, a lawsuit to finish line because they don't have enough points to do uh, exclusive pre order because they don't spend enough money with finish line. Bro, you might have just opened a bag of worms here. This this whole court case, and especially in California and Georgia, all, where all the states where the, this law applies, any loyalty plans that that they, they got in that over state over there too, y'all. Bro, size and 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 uh uh, what's the other store? 
Adidas is Adidas are the local. Is it one block too. down? It's a, it's well, a few yeah. stores over there that got like exclusive. Uh, I know Size got it. Got they got their exclusive membership program thing going with points and all that. Yeah, bro. This this can, can, this, can you... this is about this this lawsuit has the potential to change retail. Yeah. It does. It does because, like, let's just be honest. Let let us let us let's not be honest. Let's be honest. I'm just saying it wrong. Let's be honest, right? When we talk, when we talk about sneakers, bags, watches is way more in terms of commodity and price and resale than sneakers ever will be, right? Like, but but like Birkin bags. If you're able to get your hands on a Birkin bag. I can tell you in the next couple of years, that's going up two, three, four, five, fivefold easily. That's how, that's how expensive Birkin bags are. Um, I, I do, like, you can even look at, you can even look at, um, uh, what's it? Oh, what's that other company with the checks? Um, Burberry. Yeah. Sorry. Burberry. They, they don't, they uh, allegedly, I don't, I don't know if this is true or not. They burn their, their, um, um merchandise. If it doesn't sell out, sell out. We don't, they, they, they never goes on sale. Because that's they want to keep that exclusive exclusivity. So, from from that perspective alone, there is a lot of there's a lot of sh- like there's a lot of stuff that's happening in in the in the retail industry that is like for for an average consumer that so like I can guarantee these two consumers that went or these court cases that have been brought forward are are just regular people that actually wanted to go and get the Birkin bag. They were refused sale because they're not loyal customers, and all of a sudden they was like, "All right, cool, I'm gonna sue you because you don't sell me the bag." So it's simple, your bro. It could be simple as that, and it all could be simple as like I I wasn't able to buy it because I don't have a loyalty plan. With you know, it could be as simple as that. So it's gonna, like you said, it's gonna change the whole climate of of retail because you have to. Provide Provide that service to anybody that walks into that store. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, that's all. That's all. This is about. This is somebody pissed because they couldn't buy the. And obviously, you know, the bags ain't cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So bags ain't cheap. This this person ain't no telling who this person is because not everybody that's rich is famous. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this could be some some rich privileged, um, I can do whatever, whatever I want to do type person, right? Let's, let's go all the way hypothetical with this. Cause I think it's funny. <laughs> let's just say, <laughs> let's just say rich, older guy meets a uh, rich, rich, older divorce guy <laughs> meets. You went there. Young, you went there, bro. Meets, meets young, hot, uh, socialite woman. Uh, He's he's open he's opening his wallet to her. Yeah, big daddy, I need a Birkin bag. A what? What's a Birkin bag? I ain't never heard of that. My my ex wife my ex wife all she bought was Gucci and Louis Vuitton. Oh no nah, no nah. Birkin bag that's what that's that's the new thing you know what I'm saying. I right, bet we gonna get you a Birkin bag. Where, where we get Birkin bag from? Oh, we gotta go to the Hermes store. All right, cool. Jumping in Maybach, we gonna ride to the Hermes store. You know what I'm saying? Walk in, black car <laughs> on deck. Yo, Birkin bag, whatever color she want. Run that right now. Uh, what's your name? Such and such. Uh, Mr. Such and Such, you don't you don't have a purchase history with us. Um, you ain't got no purchase history with us, so we can't run that Birkin bag right now. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to run up some bands first, and then we'll consider you for Birkin bag because we already got loyal customers that's been that's been busting big racks open with us. You know what I'm saying? And they rap about it, so they priority. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so, that's so, what so, 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 that's what so happened, finna, bro. We finna put you on the list, uh, Mister Such and Such. But now, nah, hold on, now nah. you you don't understand who you're dealing with. No, nah, no, nah, we do understand who we dealing with. You don't understand how we do business. You know yeah. what? I don't appreciate yeah. how y'all do business. I have my people get in touch with y'all people. Because <laughs> that's how because little want their Birkin bag. And in order for me, in order for me to do what I want to do with her, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to rent her that bag. 
Yeah, yeah, bro, bro, hundred percent. That's that. That is exactly how it went down. And 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 for a fact, that's exactly how it went down. And you know what the retailers are gonna do? I, I've already found. I've already found a solution. Reservations and waiting lists. That's all it's gonna be. Pre-orders. That's what Watch. it is. Yeah, bro. That's the exactly. No, 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 no. It, it, but it, it probably but the, No, no. The spending is attached to it. It's the same thing. Yeah. It's the same thing with these other brands, bro. You're not walking yeah. into these these places getting their most exclusive stuff. They have to no. know you. All of them, bro. <laughs> Louis, Gucci, uh, 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 Balenciaga, all, all of them, bro. <laughs> yeah. the, the most exclusive customers get the most exclusive products. You're not and, walking in there, and let, bro. You got to be, you got to be him, him, or her, mm-hmm. her. Like you, I'm talking about the stars. You can be if you regular rich. If you rich and non famous, no, no, no. Ain't the, who? What's the name that's attached to this this story, this lawsuit? Well, uh, no, I don't it's just a lawsuit. Yeah, yeah it's just a lawsuit. Because the, the person moment. ain't famous. They might have the money to buy the products, yeah, but yeah. they're not famous. If it was a famous uh, yeah. person, please believe. It wouldn't believe. be a situation. It wouldn't be a situation. It because, wouldn't. It, cause, yeah. Consumers cannot They're purchase make a Birkin. It right. So basically, consumers cannot purchase it. Like, this is going to reiterate what you just said. Consumers cannot purchase a Birkin online from Hermes and a leather bag, uh, and a leather bag which are handcrafted and cost thousands of dollars. Each are not displayed for sale in the company's retail store, according to lawsuits. So basically, it is... A reservation is a waiting list. Yeah, you, he like wh- whoever went to the store for can I get a Birkin bag? Oh, we don't have a Birkin bag here. You gotta be on a waiting list. Why am I on a waiting list? Because blah blah blah. Your name's not on the list. Blah blah blah. And then and then only, he, it went off. It went off, bro. Only way you only way you gonna see it in the store is if you happen to be there when somebody come to pick theirs up. Exactly, exactly, bro. Your 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 story is exactly how it went down, and I believe it to be true. You, you made something up that is actually true. It actually happened, and this is where it's come from. Especially California, bro. <laughs> Especially California, bro. Uh, but yeah, that that's is it's it's going it's going to it's going to change. I I I hope Hermes win this. I'm 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 I'm, I'm with Hermes. I'm hope Hermes win this because. Like for me, it's all of, it, it needs to be about loyalty. You, you, I know, I know, exclusivity is a bad thing sometimes, um, especially in the sneaker game. But also, I do believe that you have to have some sort of standards, and high end companies always have those standards. You gotta be, you gotta shop, you gotta always shop and have that loyalty plan. Otherwise, bro, we like if if Nike release a loyalty plan at this moment in time most of us will be like on that loyalty plan with, with the amount of sneakers we buy anyway. So why wouldn't we want? that Hermes to win. So I'm saying. They do have a loyalty plan. It's called Sneakers App. Yeah, exactly. It's called... And they know what you buy. It's called Nike Membership. Exactly. And they know what you buy. They know what you buy. They track what you buy. They they offer you... This why, This is why all the exclusive access and uh, and the uh, shop drops and all of that stuff, they, bro, di- they dictate it to the people that they know is going to buy it. Bro, you don't, you don't think I'd be a little salty when I see the stories about people... Rick Doug. Rick Dub got a yeah. random pair of book ones a couple of months ago from Nike. Or a tweet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It'd be like Ooh. Shout out to the bro. Shout out to the bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but that that's why I say it's levels to it. Her man's ain't cool, cool, cool. her man's ain't sending Rick Dub nothing. Yeah, they'll, yeah. they'll send but, it, they'll send it to future or or Kanye. Well not Kanye. But you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know okay. Yeah. <laughs> by, by the way, by the way, one of the one of the big stars. You know what I'm saying? They'll send it yeah. to the movie stars and the and the big entertainers. Yeah. But by the way, I'm just let me just say, um, I, I Rick, 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 you you're a, you're a superstar. You actually started something that we st- we opened up about last week. And uh, watch out for that. I'm not going to mention nothing. If you have to go watch the podcast uh, episode 110 to see what we talked about. But Rick, Rick reached out to us and we went crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Coming your way soon. <laughs> Shout out to the bro. Next quick strike, bro. We're having a look at Puma and Skepta because it looks like Puma and Skepta. Well, Pu- oh, Skepta left. Uh, was it who's who's with Nike uh, in September last year? And he's. And I think we've seen the first elements of his Puma collaboration, which is uh, which actually looks quite interesting to be honest. So this is this is the Puma Skepta. 
um, escape, which is taking escape uh, back to Puma, which which I think I, I there's, 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 we'll speculate on a bit on that in in going through this. But this is this is what it, there's a white variation looks like of his sneaker. There's some merchandise or apparel which has got this jacket, which I think the puffer jacket looks absolutely dope with the Puma and the skip to the back with the eagle. That's absolutely dope. Um, and then you got like obviously you got different colors of that actual jacket. And then you've got this that which we which I actually sent you the other day, and um, yeah, the Puma. Did I send it to you? No, I sent sent, sent to somebody else. But this is the Puma Skepta that that that's actually been uh, actually a tribute to come out soon, which which looks dope. Which actually looks dope. I, I I'm, I'm digging it. I'm I'm digging what what's coming from Puma with with, with the SK with Skepta. What's your thoughts, bro? Yeah, I, these real. Uh He's giving me real UK vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm do, glad you said um, that. I appreciate that chameleon on there. Mm -hmm. The toe down on that is crazy. The silhouette yeah. itself. Um, it's cool. It's not necessarily my bag, but the, the merch that he got with it, everything looked like it worked together, so... Oh yeah, it, it, this is um like, like we Cortez is doing what he's doing with the Nike brand. It's mm -hmm. very relevant to what he's doing. I think I think Pume for, for what Skepta did with uh, with the SK and the tail. I don't know with, with the ninety sevens, um, with the with the tail wins, with the Dulux, with the BW, and bro, like he did a, he did quite numbers with with those. And bro, like I'm gonna tell this. A shout out to Anish, the bro. Anish basically said he's got the red red variation of the tailwind uh five sks i've got the blue variation of those i actually like them a lot with the iridescent back tab which is absolutely fire the way it released it dropped it sat for a little while if i tell you guys to go and check the nike skepta range especially the tailwind fires which actually sat in the red variation actually might have gone on sale go and check the price on them they're going for 300 to 400 pounds at this moment in time. And I didn't even realize that it was increased in value. And it's probably increased in value since the Skeptors left Nike, which which is always going to be the case when a collaborator leaves one brand for another brand and their old, old apparel merchandise and sneakers all go up in price. But that was crazy when I learned that this week. And I was like, wow, what, what, the, what, what the hell went on here? Um, but that, that happened. And then... Puma are working their way up, bro. Especially with the street credibility. Street cred, Skepta, UK grime scene. That's what they needed to do with this. Absolutely needed to do with this. I, I think that's 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 a brilliant move from, from Puma. Your thoughts? Yeah, let's do it. Dope, dope, dope. So, so expect to see more SK Puma. Uh, you know what? I do dig the bag, badge at the back. That 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 is dope. <laughs> That is very dope. The, the actual, um, what do you call it? The zip on the on the actual jackets, and the the, the eagle at the back with the puma and the skepta. Yeah, big smoke, big smoke coming from skepta. And I'm loving this. I'm actually loving this whole innovation. You know what? It's really funny. The brothers divided. One brother excelled. The other brother wasn't was doing what he was doing, and now it's flipped reverse because. Puma are pushing, bro. We, especially with the, la the last couple of years, we've seen uh, Jay Z go over there and do his thing with it, or lead the uh, lead the actual basketball range. Skepta's gone over there with his whole um, ambassador, uh, no, like uh, Puma ambassador. They're making moves, bro. They're making moves that I should have been doing long time ago, bro. That's crazy. And they're brothers. <laughs> Imagine. Not anymore, bro. Brothers and rivals, that's what I'm saying. All right, next quick strike. We are looking at the MLB. Something you want to show me, bro. <laughs> yeah, so um, there's been a lot of talk about Jordan this and Jordan that lately as far as yeah. um, the brands are concerned. But like we, we um, alluded to earlier, you brought to the pod how much attention the team Jordans were actually getting from the casual consumer. Yeah. We saw PSG do a collab with uh, Born and Raised yep, yep, yep. On, on the kits. They got a whole collection. But Jordan brand also is killing it now in baseball. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Opening day uh, for the MLB season, we saw 
some of the dopest Jordan cleats to ever be seen, in my opinion. We saw it last year with Manny Machado and uh, Mookie Betts and a bunch of players, but they brought smoke this year, bro. Look at, I mean. Ooh, bro. ooh. The, the whole, the whole artistry behind that sneaker. Yo, that's dope. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I have to apologize to the, uh, to the audio audience. Y'all go to uh, Nice, Kicks nice Kicks. Instagram and check out the post they did about the MLB opening season Jordan Cleats. Because, look, I know you like that. Oh, it's it's a Jordan oh, 13. Carolina 13. Oh, with the cleats. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Why have they not released that? That's dope. <laughs> they need to release it to oh, the general public. I love the Carolina Blue. Sheesh. Matter of fact, that ain't in Carolina. That's teal. Yeah, it looks like teal. Yeah, it matches oh, the trim on the, on the Arizona Diamondbacks uh, logo. I, I'll, I'll, I'll do the audio description, right? Like, imagine a teal, like, like, like Q said, a teal pattern leather Jordan 13, black laces, white outsole with the cleats. That looks fire, bro. Next one, bro. Pause, Next one, bro. Pause on that. We'll probably be black. But, um, J Balvin. Jordan one cleats. Hey, that's dope. That's very dope. These are custom, by the way. They don't look exactly like the ones that released. But yeah, we get it. This, this, this J Balvin thing. Yeah, and uh, the ones, the ones hit hard this year. Jordan one cleats hit hard this year. That that black and white Jordan one. That that black and white white swoosh and the white the wings logo. That's a dope sneaker. I should have got it when it actually came out. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I need money to go right back now. and get those. They got the baseball version and the football version. You can get those right now. <laughs> That's I see dope. Them every, I see them all the time. Uh, Yo, Tony the Tigers come out to play. <laughs> Tiger Strike, Jordan 11, please. <laughs> That's fire. That's actually fire. We got, we got silver and black. Well, silver and navy, rather. Yankee Ooh. cleats. That's nice. I like that. Uh, along with all that, Jordan Brand also got Eli De La Cruz and William Contreras signed to Jordan Brand. Ooh. Big stars in the MLB. But uh, if you, in case you needed a closer look at uh, Vladimir Guerrero's custom off-white cleats. Um, Carolina Blue. <laughs> Bro, there we go. bro, I, I, I'm, um, I'm, I'm just, I got one thing to say about this. It's in the next five, five, six years. These are coming. The, 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 you know what I love. You know what I love about what you just showed me. Everything you just showed me is reiterating one thing to me. They, they are six, experimenting with these uh, cleats, and even though they might turn out to be PEs, I think some of these might actually release to the general public. Oh, oh further down the line. Let's just wait. Sorry. It's a closer look at uh, Mookie Betts. Um, with the, um, you know what? This is unfair. Where's that pattern from? Where is that pattern from? I'm trying to look. Damn, I cannot remember where that pattern is from, bro. It's from another Jordan uh, release. I cannot remember right now where they're um, the uh, uh Doggy sweater? The, yeah, the sweater, the Jordan sweater with the sevens. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But it's blue and white and red. <laughs> Bro, bro, this is unfair. This is J J look, 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 look. Jordan Brand, Nike Brand. This is unfair. This is what we wanted on sneakers, but you gave it to the professional professionals. This is like, remember we keep talking. Oh my. Remember we keep talking about Jordans being just a, like colorways and like the dunks getting all of the fabulous colorways and like the chunky dunkies. All of that stuff comes onto the. This is what we want. Like, this is the stuff Fernando, that needs to come out in Jordan 1s again. Fernando Tatis won. All the dope Jordan cleats that we saw, the 11s, the one, all the ones. Uh, Fernando Tatis won. Please, for the audio audience, go look up Fernando Tatis Jr. 
uh, Jordan won me at cleats. Yeah, just yeah. do that. Do that for yourself. I, it, oh, you know, trying to describe it won't even do no justice. Don't even. I, I know. Do it, I, I was. I was gonna try and describe it, but it, it, it's no, it's really it's hard. You gotta go. Bro. You gotta go and see it. It's, it's just beautiful in 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 visual aspects i can't I, any description i give to that will not do justice to that it is such a dope 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 like artistry on that is so fire so so fire and it's a custom as well uh 23 on the back as well sheesh yeah and, it's and the f f f his f logo as well no bro that's dope that's dope yeah yeah, so, yeah um this is unfair this is unfair it's unfair. Jordan, Jordan Brands absolutely took over MLB opening day. And it was just yeah. beautiful to see. They, 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 they literally, you know what? They're literally teasing us. They're teasing us. You know that. Like, it is like, you, 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 if you, if you rock with us, you might get this, but we not, we, we might not even get this. So this is crazy. Like, we'll probably see him on dunks rather than Jordan once, which is crazy. This Most is just not fair. But also, I just want to show but also, I like yeah, and nice. uh, But also, it reiterates what we talked about, and we keep talking about. It is the fact that as soon as Jordan, Nike, and Jordan brand open up and start spreading their web into different sports, it's game over. And do you know what we keep saying it? And we're going to keep saying it. And then when it happens and it's over, then we say we told you so. Because it's happening right this moment in time. If you don't know, it is happening just right this moment in time. We saw it with the German national team. We saw it with, we saw it, we've seen it with, well, they dominated the NBA, NFL. And then now the, the what would you call it? M, M, I can't even say it. MLB. So, like, what evidence, what other evidence do you need? Like, when it's, when it's written and it's shown and you can read between the lines, you know what's going on and as this is going on we're right this moment in time it is going on guys you got you got to wake up and realize and smell the coffee here right this moment in time it's world domination nike and jordan are going after world domination in the sporting and leisure way i'm not i'm not even capping no cap there no cap see we'll see how it goes definitely yeah for it, Hey, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to anything, <laughs> to be honest. All right, moving on to the next quick strike, bro. I'm gonna, t- I'm gonna have a look at um, Mischief's art exhibition because I did. You get an invite? You, but you did yeah. get an invite, didn't you? I yeah. Had so two, actually, <laughs> oh, well, I got one. Um, so basically, I, I, if I if I was in the area, I would have gone to it because it lo- does look like it's uh, magical, but. If you are signed on to Mischief's, um, Mischief's subs on the actual website, they actually send you invite invites. I got the invite to the, the what do you call it, the, 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 the 2 by 4 boot uh, to kind of get. I got the invite to the art exhibition, which I'm going to showcase now. But basically, there is an art exhibition that Mischief are doing. And um, it's in, I think it's in LA, which, which yeah. is which is amazing for one. And like, we keep saying, we keep saying to you that uh, mischief is an art, is a, what do you call it? Uh, how would you put them? What's They're a, a uh, is an art house. So when you look, when you look through their website, I'm actually trying to find it now, but on their website, when you look through their website, you realize that they're all about art, artistry and, and manufacturing artistry and showcasing and do, they do pieces. And it's all about, artist pieces and this is why when we look at their when we look at the actual stuff that they do we ridicule if from a from a different space we ridicule it but when from a all over space you realize that it's all about art and the way they design stuff is all about showcasing art and showcasing designs and they will take different design aspects and put them all together to showcase that and this is why we see what we see with them and obviously from from a secret point of view you're like now nah, what were you talking about this is rubbish and blah 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 and i'm going to share this screen now there you go again there you what? go again you need to stop oh. bro you talk, you talk sitting here talking about we ridicule and from a oh, sneaker we. perspective. I'm talking about the community. I'm talking about sneaker community ridicule that. Don't, so I'm going to no, take myself out do there. You got, just don't do that. We on our but, platform. Okay. We don't ridicule we don't, it. We know what this, we don't ridicule it. We know what we it's all about. We don't represent the thoughts of the, the peanut gallery. Yeah. All right, cool. We celebrate <laughs> mischief. We celebrate mischief first, because we know we do, we do, exactly what's about. We still laugh because the stuff is funny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if guys, if you listen, them, we, we, yeah, no, 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 we, 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 no,
Their marketing is crazy. Go if you guys are, if you guys are listening to this, please do go and check out Mischief's Mischief's website because what we're seeing at this moment in time is all the different art pieces that they've produced all together. They've actually showcased it in in LA, and it was like a reservation. Res, please respond invite where they will send you an invite, and if you get if you get into the list, you're invited to LA to come down to see their art exhibition. And I think this is Art Two, which is basically this probably second exhibition, and it basically showcases cases all of their concepts designs and all of the stuff that they sell and all the stuff that done prior as well they, they, they showcase that and it's it looks dope it does look dope and if they if it was in london i would have gone 100 percent would have gone for this yeah Man. would you would you would you do you, do you feel would you, you could go you could still go to that bro i'm not doing that for that <laughs> but um but off the back of this as well like i'm gonna st I'll stop screen screen off the back of this as well we know we know the design concepts but not only are mischief doing stuff like this and showcasing what the brand of what their brand is but they're also innovating people because when we talk about innovating other people we're also talking about stuff like this bro which we've seen which we've seen this week <laughs> the brave the bravest studio which is another studio have that design a new polar bear claw sneaker and and on if you go if you was on instagram this week you would have seen a lot of uh ai or cgi polar bears running around the like new york and all of that stuff and there was that was like the promo for this stuff this is a slide with claws on it bro <laughs> which is ridiculous about this whatsoever hey i don't care about this whatsoever <laughs> it's crazy it's just, it, it, it's just another novelty slide this to me is the same thing as the, the shrek shoe or the yeah the um what's the, the all the, the different the uh chick, chick what kentucky fried chicken crocs and stuff like that it's just a, oh yeah yeah, yeah. it's it definitely it definitely is it definitely is novelty yeah, it definitely is novelty, definitely. Um, but it was interesting to see because, like, a lot of people are seeing what mischief had done, and we'll, we'll go back into that because there's a court case on this. A lot of people are seeing what mischief had done, and they are now expanding into that into that whole realm, especially with with what mischief are put, pushing out, and then feel like there's a market there. And whenever there's a market, people will actually go into it. I I, I to be honest, it's a gimmick, and I, I would. I'll be scared to wear those. If you actually bump into somebody, you're actually hurting somebody with those. Uh, I, I think they should be illegal to wear on street, to be honest. Because I've got sharp claws on that, bro. <laughs> but I have a loose shoes done for you. <laughs> All right. And it's based on this. All right. Loose shoes are done. Are you taking, bro, the bear claws? All right. Or are you taking... The rat shoes. <laughs> what are you taking? <laughs> the piccolo boots. <laughs> what are you taking? What are you losing shoes in the dumping, bro? And you have to pick, bro. You can't say no, all I of don't. them. You have to pick. <laughs> no, I don't. I do not. <laughs> Come on, bro. Choose your, choose your worst. Okay, choose, choose your worst. The no, worst or best. First or best. No, not lo lose shoes. Dump. Worst or best. <laughs> Go on, bro. You got rats, you got polars, or you got Dragon Ball Z Piccolo. <laughs> and Q's left the building. All right, I'll remove it. Come back, bro. Come back, bro. <laughs> you didn't want to really answer that, did you? Because they're all terrible, yeah? No answer for that, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> Right, I'm gonna give you my. I'll give you mine. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put those rats at the bottom because they're absolutely terrible. Nobody's wearing rats on their feet. Um, and Future said it. <laughs> he don't hang with rats. Uh, number two is um, I would put the polar bears second, uh, second to worst. And then I'll, I, to be honest, out, out of nostalgia, the Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Piccolo shoes goes up the top as as not being as bad as the others. But that, that's what I would pick to be honest. <laughs> I can't believe he left. <laughs> he left the chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Let's go to our main topic today. 
it was Air Max month, um, and we had a lot of stuff come out on Air Max month, bro. Um, well, not a lot of stuff from Nike and Jordan brand, but um, not Nike, I mean. But we had uh, something in terms of Goat. Goat did something very really interesting uh, on Air Max uh, month. Did you see what? Did you see what it was? Yeah. Did you did you did you allude to try for any of those pairs? No. Did you, did you know what the situation was? Yeah, it's the same thing they always do when they they do the uh, they do a collab, um, Air Max One Oregon with Tinker and some um, you know boutique, and they most of the time they limit it. The yeah. the price is um, pretty reasonable for a limited collab, limited yeah. exclusive collab, but. Um, I tried. I I tried for the last one, the um, one with the lime green, and mm -hmm. so far it's always been the Air Max ones. Um, I tried for the lime green one. I think there was only a thousand or fifteen hundred pairs or something like that. So, you know, it's it's a crapshoot trying to go for them pairs. But I yeah, didn't yeah. like this one enough to really want to go for it like that. So, so guys, if you didn't know what happened on GOAT this, this week, um, on AMAX, uh, 26th of March, basically what ended up happening was they released, they had a short release on some of these AMAXs. So basically it was like a release calendar from like 3 p.m. GMT all the way up to like 7 or 8 p.m. GMT, which was basically late in the night. So they had exclusive drops of like, um, the Cortez, uh, different variations of AMAX 95s. They actually had, uh, the Stushi AMAX 95, Olive, they actually had the Atmos AMAX 1 restock at retail prices. But by the way, guys, this is retail prices. Um, also, they had Skeptors as well, uh, SK Tailwind 5s. They had the uh, off, off white drop as well, as you can see. That dropped at what, 10, uh, about 5.30 GMT. They had another, another Skeptors, the Huffs as well, AMAX 90s. Bro, they had a lot. They had a lot just drop Skeptors as well. There's 97s. They had the 95 icons. They had all of the Air Max 1 Travis's as well. Drop, bang, bang, and bang, as you can see. And then they also dropped the patterns. I actually went for, I actually went from, it was difficult. It was, it's crazy hard to get. You, you go into the app, you have to kind of, they try to make it bot protected where you have to actually click the sneaker when it's moving around. Yeah, uh, you got, you got put in the waiting list in the queue. A lot of people didn't drop and a lot of people just went queued and they queued for hours. And uh, they also dropped the Oregon, um, yeah, the o Oregon Air Max one as well, uh, which was just their release. And that was it. But, um, off the back of that, bro, off the back of that, I saw this today, right this moment in time. What actually happened was some, some people that have actually won have got their cancel, court, um, orders cancelled because they couldn't fulfill the orders and they couldn't find another buyer to or a person on their actual website that was selling the pair. So, yeah, I, I'm calling this a big cap, bro. Absolute big cap. I, I know some people won. It, but like you said, it was very limited, very hard to get, very condoluting. A lot of people were still hanging in the queue, it, and it kept it kept it kept bouncing you out the queue and, and restocking, bouncing you out the queue and restocking, and it almost felt like it was some of the pairs were capped. I, I only thing I could actually buy and I didn't buy and I tried it because I wanted to trial it was the silver bullet, the 97 silver bullet. And I, I was going for 80 pounds and I was like, I don't want it, but I'm going to see what the process is because that was the first release. That was it, bro. Nothing else. Everything else was impossible. And we knew that for, and it was a limited release, obviously. And they gave you the market value at the bottom, but it was, it sounded, it felt like a big cap just to draw audience into GOAT to actually let, let go people go there, try it and buy other pairs that, probably will sit around or other go or, or scroll through the website and get some foot traffic on their on the actual app. It felt like that to me. What do you reckon? They've been they do stuff like that all the time, bro. They do different events. That's that's just what GOAT does. They Yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it just wasn't the first time they did it for everybody. They, they they do it periodically throughout the year and I'm guessing most of the time the process is the same. I only participate when I see pairs that I'm interested in. Um, I didn't participate in none of this Air Max Day stuff. I saw it, but mm -hmm. I ain't had time for it. I had too much going on anyway, so. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, um, also on AMAX Day, we've got the Big Bubble Royal Blue Vault Air Max 1 release, which, which shock dropped out just randomly between 2 to 3 p.m. GMT. I was able to cop the pair for the bro because he actually wanted them. Um, so this is good. The, the review's up now if you go, if you guys go and watch that. But, um, that's the, that's, that's one shock drop that they had. They had obviously the, all the DNs release. Do you feel like it was a good Air Max month, uh, Air Max day release this month? Or would you feel it was lacking from your personal opinion with what you saw? What you mean, bro? Like- <laughs> I'm just saying. Do you, could 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 it be more pairs? Could it could it be more some special special pairs release? I don't know. A lot, a lot of people like from for my for my personal opinion, it was it was good to see a lot of DNs release because that was the silhouette for for that for that month anyway or for for this year anyway. But it was also good to see a, a OG release. A lot a lot of people weren't feeling the 86, but they were, they actually went for the Royal Vault 86, which was interesting to see. Very interesting to see. So, so it worked, like yeah. The DNs are doing well. All the colorways doing pretty, pretty good. Most, uh, some of them sold out. Uh, yeah. You're seeing a lot of people posting about DNs. The uh, the '86, the the blue version of the OG uh, Air Max Day sneaker, uh, the blue vote. I guess it's doing well. I'm I'm seeing. You know, good response to it. I ain't really seeing nobody uh, knock it. Yeah, and it, 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 the Air Max Day response for this year has been a lot better than past year. So yeah, yeah, I, that, I, that I felt that is what it is. They, they actually, you know, turned it around. So. Yeah, 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 I, 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 I kind of feel that. Like, it's, it's nice to see. It's nice to see. Um, there's just sell- and they they released uh, they re- didn't release the eighty six royal vote a uh, royal without the vote as well be- prior to the to the votes coming out. I think a couple of days before they actually released it in the UK, which is quite nice to see. I think a lot of people's opinions are starting to change on that eighty six model. To be honest, a lot of people still don't like it, but with with them releasing that, and obviously we saw um, on our sneaker releases another eighty six coming out, which is more J- J- Jackie Robinson pay as well that that's coming out which obviously it means like they're trying to push it they're not trying to push it but they're trying to make it um a bit more appealing to give it some substance behind it which is good because a lot of people didn't like it do you still do you still not like the 86 model no okay what would what would change your opinion on it Nothing. what would what would they have to do to change your opinion on it make it look like an 87 <laughs> Simple as that, bro. Simple as that. Sounds like it. Um, but yeah, it was good. It was Air Max Day. It was good. And, and to be honest, now we uh, now we gear up, going up to uh, the Jordan Five anniversary, which is what I'm looking forward to now. <laughs> I mean, the thing of the thing about Air Max Day in general is having something released that is just for that day, and they did. Yeah. Yeah. It's also about the new, the next innovation in the Air Max line, which is the whole reason for Air Max Day. Oh, Air, Ma- Air Max yeah, yeah. Day is the celebration of the anniversary of the first uh, Air Max One commercial. Mm-hmm. So that commercial that we all that that legendary image of the light shining through the first visible air unit that we saw. That's mm-hmm. what Air Max Day is about. That's why yeah. the DN has got the four, um, you know, the four circles for yeah. the for the unit. You know, is to pay homage to that to that commercial. They did that. People understand that. People appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. bringing back the big bubble with the uh, the Air Max branding, different colorway in the '86 model, is a shout out to last year bringing back. The OG big bubble, you know, red colorway, using that same image for the release last year. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. And people yeah, enjoyed yeah. the big bubble. We wanted more from uh, Air Max Day last year because we didn't get like the even the year before when we got the the regional Air Max ones. 
And we, a lot of people didn't appreciate that. But we got more this year than we, we got this year what we wanted from the past two years combined. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I, I, like I last year you. we got the big bubble, but we wanted the Air Max Day shoe. Like, okay, we get the big bubble coming back, OG, but what's give us the Air Max Day shoe. The year yeah. before, we got the Air Max Day regional releases, but we didn't get like give us something, give us something classic, give us something OG, give us yeah, give yeah. us something that we that we got years ago. Bring Five. bring something back for us that we can that we already know. Give us some nostalgia. This year, they I'm gonna gave be, us both. Yeah. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. Um, that yeah, last year I I kind of I thought we, I thought it was dope. I thought it was better than the year before. The year before we got taxis, purple canyons, and the tall yellow Air Max One. Right, that's what we got, and then the tall yellow Air Max One released further down the line as well, which you, I think months down the line it released again as as a general release, right? and that happened, and that was a bit poor. I went to the, I went to, was it sneakers? No, sorry, that was sneakers day. Sorry, that was sneakers day. My bad. Um, but but last year they did the regional Air Max ones, right? When they did the regional Air Max ones, a lot of people were upset in the UK because the best two pairs went elsewhere the the air max one wabusabi went to uh japan and the blueprint went to the states and we've got this reflective air max one and they thought that that was going to be dope for us because they, they would it was i think it was a women's exclusive as well but the, they but, thought but it was going to be the blueprint was an adc yeah yeah so it was Exa- i didn't like it mm. you know no. Oh, because you don't like the you don't like the A6. Yeah, um, but I the, the the way the but the way they did that was I thought was dope. But they gave the UK, I would say, not the best pair. And this is why a lot of pe- people in the UK were upset with that because they actually went. Some of them actually went and bought the Wabusabi, which, which was dope. And some of them actually went went and bought the Blueprint, which was which was dope as well. And for, for people wanted it, but this year they did it. And I think they hit the spot and they, uh, hit the nail on the head with with the OG Royal Vaults and the the ends that they released. They released a lot, and on top of that, they gave a lot of people. Uh, exclu- not exclusive. They get they they gifted a lot of people the DNs like the white DNs. Offspring gifted a couple of people the white DNs. They I think a lot of people in the community got like DNs from uh from uh Nike as well to actually celebrate that. The retailers got told that they need to push the DNs. There's a lot of adverts coming out. There's a lot of Instagram stories coming out with DNs. A lot of people rocking DNs. Like what would you wear to your DNs? What color are you vibing with? And you can you can tell that Nike's pushing the DN right massively, which we talked about a couple of pods ago but it's good it's good i hope they keep that momentum up um because we know sneakers when's the sneakers at april i don't care it's sneakers day is coming let's see what happens with that <laughs> but yeah sneakers day is coming so let's see what happens with that. but yeah um it was good to see bro i forgot all about sneakers day sneakers day who sneakers day what right <laughs> hey I'm in a different place in life right now. I can't focus. <laughs> yeah, true, 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 true. That, but yeah, um, yeah, but Air Max Day was Air Max Day was good. It was good. I wouldn't say it was dope. I think it was good. It was a nice. It was a nice touch. What 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 they're gonna do next year is gonna be quite interesting to see because maybe they will bring out the anniversary Red Vault again with eighty six. Who knows? Who knows? I wouldn't say it was dope when. The new Air, Air Max silhouette came out and was super successful. That's that. You know. <laughs> yeah, it was super, and it was dope. Yeah, that, that, to be honest, that that that, 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 that. Air Max anyway. Um, no, of course, of course, it's not. <laughs> but I, I don't. I respect it. I still, I do respect it. My, my, I, I would, I would yeah, say, so I, I don't disrespect it. Yeah, of course. It's to be respected, the amount of people that are celebrating the DN. Oh yeah. That means Air Max Day was successful. Yeah, so some of the colorways on the end is is fire. This fire, They'd like we were talking about this uh, the well, offline. They can do so much with that silhouette. There's so many panelings to that silhouette. They can do so much with that. It's gonna be awesome to see. And just yeah, just keep celebrating Air Max Day. Just keep it up, guys, and just keep like you say, just buy and rock what you want. Um, that was Air Max Day, bro. That was the main subject today. So um, let's do what we're always here to do, bro. <laughs> it's gonna get interesting now. When resale is too high. Damn resellers. Hold on, hold on. 
when hype beats go too far. Die damn hype beast. Order, order in the court, order. When the back door opens. Guilty. It's time for order in the court. The sneaker court of public Guilty. opinion. Guilty! Welcome back to Sneaker Court of Public Opinion with me, Judge Public Opinion and ex Chanel. Welcome back to, we've got two cases on the docket today and one of the first ones is one that you might enjoy, bro. That's what I'm going to say. So first up is, on the docket is this, this is... The, the, the Adidas shoebox sneaker. Is that the Adidas shoebox sneaker? You, 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 you'll probably be asking, what is the Adidas shoebox sneaker? Well, it's, it's a sneaker that's got blue, all of, basically Adidas box, which is blue and white, three stripes with lace, uh, big, fat, chunky laces on it. This is coming out for April the 1st. The code is AF0104, which means it's an April Fool sneaker, which means this might not even come out, which means this is a joke that added us a push pushing. <laughs> but if it's not a joke, it basically, it's a big, big bite on, on mischief and what they do, if I'm honest. But also on top of that, they're calling it the Minecraft, uh, box sneaker and they've got, people wear it like because one artist wearing it or one model wearing it and they've taken photographs everywhere. Uh, <laughs> Trash. What do you reckon, bro? They're trying to get some positive attention. They pay some people to put this goofiness on and try to act like it's cool or funny or whatever. It's not. <laughs> it's 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 out. It's, it's out. This is definitely out of their lane. Um, bro, I don't think any publicity already did this on Instagram. Yeah. Um, oh 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 oh. You are right. You are, you, I stand corrected. You are right. I recently saw somebody pull together cardboard, cardboard panels to make a sneaker with, with laces. And I've that was for a joke. Yeah. Yeah. I saw, I saw that. I saw, I seen that. I've saw that. And I've seen that recently as well. This is basically the same, the, practically the same thing in, ter in terms of the, the, the construction, not the construction, but the materials. This I'm going to say is. <laughs> Guilty added ass for clout chasing and if you was going to do this you would have brought some substance to it I said it on my Instagram stories you would have done this and dropped um, limited pairs and sold them as part of the release as April Fools because you're fooling you that you was going to get this box but you would have got actually dope pairs of sneakers um, I don't know what the what I don't know whether you want foot traffic or clout I don't know why you're going for clout just concentrate on your sneakers and trying to get your house in order rather than clout chasing that's all I'm going to say on that matter but uh, next up bro is another story another thing involved ah yeah bro <laughs> guilty um this is the audi force one apparently uh it's an air force it's an air force one inspired sneaker which uh, do you know what who audi is bro Okay, you you have Audi there, which is good. I don't need to explain. Audi have designed apparently a uh, a Air Force inspired sneaker to sell in their stores. I think they're twelve twelve pounds or whatever it is. Yeah, <laughs> we expect a lawsuit coming your way soon from from uh, Nike if they realise that you've basically swiped their actual sneaker. That outsole looks similar. Some of the paneling looks similar. Yeah, <laughs> look, you're looking really real suspect on that. Uh, what's your thoughts, bro? Nike ain't finna do nothing to Audi. You reckon? Nope. They'll let that slide. Yep. <laughs> it's Audi, bro. <laughs> Audi yeah, is, yeah. A, is a international grocery brand. Nike ain't yeah. finna to Audi. They, they, go to they're, Audi they're to buy food, not sneakers. They not finna. Yeah. They, people buy people who buy these don't want Air Force Ones. 
No, no, no. Um, the, by the way, the Audi is a German supermarket of company. So basically, uh, yeah. I, do you think? Um, do you think Adidas has given us some back backdoor handers and saying, "Look, do this for us. We'll we'll, we'll be beneficial. Of, we'll be beneficial Bro. for our business." I don't know. <laughs> I'm this, speculating. This, this, the same, this is the same thing as uh, uh, Walmart shoes, Payless shoes. Yep. Yeah, be, be, you know, be. like yeah. This 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 ain't this ain't nothing to worry about because they not they not coming for Nike. You know what I'm saying? Nah. It's, the, it's right. the people that are coming for the culture. You know, trying to be relevant in the culture that present problems for the big brands that that end up getting these lawsuits. This, yeah. these, they all nah. they, they also got Crocs. They got also. Yeah, they also have uh, substitute Crocs for four, four, four pounds. So, guys, substitute um, Crocs, <laughs> substitute Crocs. Yeah, <laughs> for, for, so these are substitutes. Yo, uh, no, no knock on you if you if you can't afford sneakers mm. because obviously we know Shaq's done affordable sneakers, but um, these these are substitutes yeah, for so these are substitute sneakers. So, um, this yeah, is what you substitute. These are yeah, shoes. shoes. That, you know, people who want shoes, they don't care about what what the shoe look like or what it say. It's just shoes. Okay. No oh, on that note, no, ain't no self-respecting uh, sneaker connoisseur of any level finna finna get caught dead wearing these. <laughs> oh, on, on that note, <laughs> shut up. Bro. Inconclusive, I'm going to give Audi a pass for that because they're actually making affordable sneakers for uh, people that actually want it. And also on top of that, um, if you're, you're not a sneaker if you're getting this, but so it's for the casual, casual shoe person that wants to buy shoes just for their feet. Yeah, on that, on that, bro. That was it, bro. That was, that bro, was a sneaker. It, if you shop at Audi, you like saving money anyway. The- yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Audi, um, Lidl, all of that stuff, guys. Um, it's yeah. hard, times are hard. Oh, times are hard. So uh, uh, shop intelligently. That's what I'm saying. That was it, bro. That was a sneaker court for today. <laughs> Quick and effective. I'll, I'll, I'll rob a little. Okay. How comes? A little, can, a little can eat a bag of baby cakes. <laughs> when resale is too high. Damn reseller. Hold on. Hold on. When hype beats go too far. These damn hype beats. Order. Order in the court. Order. When the back door opens. Guilty. It's time for. Order in the court. The sneaker court of public Guilty. opinion. Hey, that was quick and effective today, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. So, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just dis- well, I'm disappointed with with uh, Adidas and their, their shoe box or whatever they want to call it. Um, they could they could have made it epic, but obviously they don't they don't learn from their mistakes. So it is what it is. Um, but yeah, Audi, yeah, the Audi, Audi shoe. If you, if you can, if you want to rock it, go rock it, guys. Um, affordable, affordable sneakers. Afford, like we should like Shaq, Shaq. Affordable sneakers for affordable shoes for for people that want it. But but yeah, that was episode hundred and eleven. Uh, anything you want to talk about before we end the show, bro? Oh man, uh, I just want people to appreciate everything that they have in the present because mm-hmm. the present turns into the past you know yeah and you never know the future you know what I mean Miss Cleo was fake so ain't <laughs> 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 no calling me now ain't nobody you can call now just go tell you the future you know what I mean so just appreciate yeah, yeah. the present, man. Live, live your life to the best of your ability. Uh, I said, me personally, I I try to stay out the way a lot because um, I enjoy things differently than some people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's just say yeah, that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I want everybody to enjoy themselves the best way they can, but you know, with no reason, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and and with respect. And uh, class and honor yeah. and all that type be stuff. Classy. But you know, that ain't, yeah, yeah. That ain't gonna be classy. Yeah, yeah. Be classy. Don't be a goofy with a check. That's all I'm saying. That's Kendrick's words, not mine. Right, but saying. um. <laughs> but but yeah, um, just 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 do your thing, guys. Uh, just just you know what in life, don't have no regrets. Do 
what you need to do to have no regrets and not, not not crazy stuff i'm talking if you have if you have an idea if you have an inkling if you have some ambition if you want to go and do something if you want to go um on a holiday or travel the world or or just design something or in, innovate something just go and do it don't don't have you know the one thing i realize in life and this is why i i don't allude to that i don't like to kind of dwell on that is fear Fear will stop you from a lot of things in life, oh, yeah. and what you need to do is listen to listen to that, take it, take note of it, and then proceed with how you need to proceed with caution. It, it, you can proceed, but proceed with caution. And until that fear is gone, keep keep pushing, keep hustling, keep working, and don't have no regrets. That's all I say. And this is yeah. the reason why we do what we do. And this is the reason why. We we're out there. We we want to do stuff. We want to help people uh, along the way as well. But don't just don't let fear cripple you. Um, it's, fear, fears are a delusion sometimes of your reality, which probably will most likely will never come true. So that's what I'm saying. You know, you know, a lesson I had to learn um, that I hope people can get that I think will help um, with what we're speaking on right now. Yeah. ambitions and, and um you know taking it trying to trying to take advantage and, and not being afraid to try things living with the results bro yeah when I started when I in my early 30s when I started having to live with the results of the choices that I made uh thus far in my life that's where my mindset started to change about you know, just just doing different things and um, having conversations. Having conversations is very underrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having conversations with certain people about certain things that you might feel like are taboo or um, touchy or tough to talk about, you got to do it. Mm-hmm. You got to do it. Because cause when, you know what I'm saying? When is is a crazy question because yeah. you never know when you know what I mean. So yeah. if if and, you, if you feel like you got the chance or you want to, I mean you ain't you ain't even got to go all the way into it. Just to you know touch around it, bring it up, like yeah. had the conversations, try try to you know the new experiences, and yeah. do try to do some of these things um, that you feel like you want to do. There's some sometimes the window of the window of opportunity uh, closes quite quickly on you when you don't even realize it. So that so that's important. That's very important to realize that you know what you you when you when the opportunity is there is is take take the opportunity when you can. This is why right this moment in time. I I I, I you you probably I've talked to you about this already. I, I'll probably offline, bro. When I first started doing like. Well, how many it must be three or four years ago now when I started doing like Instagram Instagram like five or six years now when I started doing like lives I didn't want to go in front of the camera I did, bro if if I was if I was still f- afraid to do what I was what I was going to do right this moment in time right we won't be we won't have a podcast we won't have, I won't have a YouTube channel I will have half the things I've have and and I've learned and grown and evolved from it and given me massive experience and massive is upgrading my qualities in terms of my speech um, my my presentation uh, my editing all of that stuff it, it keeps improving so take a chance guys you never know where it can lead you to go uh, we don't like at this moment in time we're still working we we've got we've got a name to get somewhere but we, we don't know where we're going to end up but we're going to still work towards it um and that, that's always going to be the fear but don't let fear ever cripple you guys and what q says is just, just live just live life enjoy life yeah. as well and you live and you live with the results man exactly and, results, and long it's long also important in, as long as you put yeah. in what you you feel like you had to put in yeah you got to learn to live with the results and yeah. move on to the next thing. Also, enjoy the success. Live to enjoy it as well. It's always good to reflect on what you've achieved so far, even though you're going you're going to go further. It's always good to do that. It's always, always good to do that. Yeah, man. Yeah. Keep the main thing I, the main thing, though. Stay positive. Exactly. Keep your yep. head up. Love your people yep. that love you. Yeah, yep. stay out the way, man. Yeah, because we're coming. <laughs>
Right. Cool. <laughs> that too. I, I, I know what you meant, but obviously that too. <laughs> Right, cool. Episode 111 of the Shudo Podcast. Uh, bro, call cool it. Yeah, man. 111. Yo, have a great day. Great week. Great month. Great year. And sleep on the Nina Chanel. So me and TJ make sure we get our pairs. And then y'all can get y'all pairs. Yeah. Okay, because y'all this do is, deserve this, to get y'all pairs, but we, we want This is me on hunt day. Facts. <laughs> you, know, you ain't seen me. Head down. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know you. I know. I, oh, I didn't even know you was here, bro. You, you got, yeah. yeah, I got mine. You got yours yet? Oh. Oh. Aww. All right. Aww. I'm going to go. <laughs> 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 go. <laughs> hey, look, I'll, 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 let you, I'll let you later. I'm leaving. Yeah, yeah. Line, I'm leaving. I, I, I'm, I'm leaving this with this pair. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, well, remember, please remember to uh, rock what you like. Buy what you like, rock what you like. Don't believe the hype because the hype ain't real, okay? And sneakers don't make you cool. Because you make the sneakers cool, guys. Remember that, guys. Yeah. You talk- yeah. <laughs> yeah. Peace. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> <laughs>